Alrighty then. Temporarily back in my normal place, and we are also back for some more Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. Ah, I've been looking forward to this. Last time we, um, we strengthened our people, like our full new crew of folks. We've been continuously strengthening up our Majos Tech Priests. We also got level 3 servitors, so huzzah, beefy deals. I think we also got, at the least, this, this bigger potential cohort. We're still, we are still missing, we are still missing, um, one tech priest. We have not found the mission that would grant us that. So, well, we shall continue to be on the hunt. But, we, we have an interesting situation when it comes to our missions. We are only at hard missions. <laughs> we are only at hard missions. And that is something we're gonna need to work around. That we will. I mean, we have done some hard missions already, so it shouldn't be a too big of a deal. I just, I'll need to be on my toes. But that'll be fine. Let's see here. I have been. Wow, look at how much shit. Cognition that requires to fire fire that thing. I guess it makes sense. Powerful. I do. I think I do want to, to do this one first. Because while others have. While others ha do have some tempting stuff on them. Mm, like, that's uh, certainly tempting. But it's a boss. That's definitely tempting. But again, a boss. I'll get to those at some point. But this, this gives us a better power axe. Which increases our general strength because that's what... Well, that's that's. I don't know if there are other melee weapons in this in this game, but I've only run into the power axes. So, well, so we shall stick with power axes. Also, this one target troop. I mean, technically. Technically, that will be useful in due course, because eventually, like, for, say, the bosses or such, we do want stronger cohorts to deploy. And eventually, when we find our other, uh, that final tech free slot, which, oh, who knows when that'll be, but I know it's somewhere, but... With he, they will be going down that last street we haven't gone on t down, which is effectively a troop-based uh, sort of deal. But, for now, this is what we'll be doing. Getting a better axe. When the stars are wrong, Videx has requested destruction of this chamber. A request to demolish all the knowledge that Lord Acropis has stored here will vindicate Videx's quest for a safer galaxy, but will please those aboard who may wish this data preserved. Ah, uh, gee, I wonder who that could be. Skiffle. <laughs> These two are constantly at odds, and it's great. But we want to do it because, as I said, upgraded power axe is upgraded power axe. As for what we'll run into here, there's only three things, but they're Immortal, like Lich Guard, and Necron Destroyers. No priority here. <laughs> Death to all Destroyers. So, let 
does. Get our barrage of tech priests. Ah, it's, it's great, our setup of tech priests right now. They are pretty good. Then all the servitors. I have something better for this one. I don't think I do, but... I mean, the same principle only for energy. That's just kind of like trading out one deal for the next. Would be a thing, but honestly, it doesn't doesn't impact things quite as much. It's because plus nine damage is plus nine damage, which is more than more than you'll get in terms of general deal. So, yeah. <laughs> the efforts in purifying the tomb of Acropis have borne sacred fruit, Matos. Skatari units, following up on our rituals, have located a chamber where all the Lord Acropsis' blasphemies are recorded in detail. I imagine you are requesting this place be destroyed, Videx. Very persistent of you, Matos. This is indeed my goal. Acropis recorded his theories of his obscene model of the galaxy on the inscriptions lining the chamber walls. Gatha the Morians uh, 714.5 obliterate his words, cut out his tongue, put fire, put to fire all wrought by his hand, and the heretic shall cease to exist. Oh, hey, look, it's Gavola. <laughs> hey, look what I called. <laughs> Imperative prime discourse required go to conversation all the interrupt. What have you to say, Tech Inquisitor? Lector Dogmatis Videx desires destruction of Xenos knowledge. If Videx indulged, then plus 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 potential lost. Videx's fanaticism has uh, created against all of us at times, but he has not been wrong before. You cannot step back from this act, Matos. Destruction of knowledge, uh, Onmasai's will equals false. You stand on the precipice. Only the void lies ahead. I shall think on what you have said, Scaola, but the choice is mine and my responsibility. <laughs> yeah, gee, like I said, it's like, ah yes, Scaola will be upset about that. Gee, who'd have thunk? There's one right next door. <laughs> it's right next door to us. The target chamber is deep inside the tomb and difficult to reach. The Skatari have had to fall back from the area and maintain perim maintain a perimeter instead of moving deeper. My tech priest shall achieve what they cannot. You, 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 Kelechizians, uh, 60.24. Men fueled by the righteousness of their purpose uh, can achieve what armies cannot. Lord Acropus's blasphemy shall be scoured from this world, and all the works of the Necrons shall follow. The Necrons seem to be guarding this chamber in particular, Magus. Expect a heavy resistance. I always do, said Domna. When the stars are wrong, Deployment number 26. Let's see what our paths are. Well, there's that. Objective we need a hit. Event. Objective we need a hit. Then it goes glyph. Event. And final check. Okay. <laughs> Ours is, of course, our route. That's a great route. Boop, 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 bee de doop, boop, boop. We go on through there and. We do exactly such. Long as I know everything's working. I think it is. Bah. Yeah. I was annoying to the start of last time just having it to boop in and out, in and out, in and out. Alright, first event. Let's go! Kill all enemies. Alright, 
right, so we have this map format. One, 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 one. We have the console back there. Immortal, immortal, discard. Ah, there's our destroyer. And here we are. Who's going first? Ah, you're going first. Excellent. I, um... Okay, I got weirded out for a second because, yeah, I zoomed in so close I started seeing all the various symbols very, very in my face. I was confused. Oh, wait, so on that guy. Uh, seems like you're next. You're my healer, that's fine. The our ranger is going. There, but uh, there. Since you're going at that point, I think I can switch them, but not a huge deal. And then you are. You are a blast. You can go right there. Sure, why not? And not being, I hope this destroyer does not have a shot. No, thank goodness. Cognition. go here, we can, in fact, see that one. Ah, yes, that's what that deal is. Your line shindig. Just fine. We only have... Yeah, we only have ones. Sure, sure, that works, that works. Weapons attack is reduced by two. Let's use anything there, but we can just wreck the store, which honestly we do indeed want to do. Because bugger this destroyer. Destroyers are nasty. Oh, so nasty. Have anything to use for that? And turn. An immortal. Switch that. And hey, look, another cognition. Huzzah! Looks to be running on low cognition for the start of this, but that's fine enough. Not ideal, but fine enough. Luckily, I can start blasting. Boop. Where are you now? Huh. I'm like, at that weird margin where I could apparently only shoot one of my guns. Interesting. Oh god. Hey, Goblin. Can I weave the line here? <laughs> and can I weave the line? That's it. Oh, <laughs> perfect. I'm gonna be able to make this one shot, but it's, well, it's a good shot. Zap. Bonk. Nice critical. <laughs> because he wants to get to my range, dude. Perfect. That. <laughs> that went amazingly well. Not gonna lie. That went great. Oh, and because that happened. Hello, destroyer. The fuck off my lawn. There we go. Now we only have the immortal problem. Ah, that one's walking away. 
Well, this is fine. We can fix that issue. Boop. Goodbye, you. We can also fix the problem with this Sasara. Nyom. Poke. All praise be the pokeage. We poke and we poke and we poke some more. It's put this one in. This guy in a little bit of risk, but it's fine. We'll do that. Remember this. And I think this is the one that actually has moved. So, ah, I'm gonna be in your face. Oh, you have energy armor. How unfortunate for you. I'm actually gonna go this way. Now that it matters. Hurt a little bit, but mm, uh, we can work with it. We can most certainly work with it. Minus one, but this is my cognition fellow. Let us go. And invest in a worthy contribution of hope. Hope. Simple. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, well. I'll just charge up our machine spirit a little bit. Hey, we have scarabs. This is not a gate, but I mean, they're not too bad. Uh, none of you. forward. Grab a cognition. Okay, so that's what it has. Oh. We probably could have done just on that. We probably should have just done that. A little bit overkill, but... Honestly, yes. No, oh, get it right there. Nope, that was my foolishness for not paying attention to that. Thought there's more room for it to get around. Oh, at least they have auto repair. Long. More important thing, they're both shielded. Oh, there. It's not supposed to hurt. <laughs> Let's see here. It's 10 that has that. I've already moved, so I want to do the one that hasn't. Do I just want to do that? Yeah, no, I'm sure. I'm pretty confident on us about to finish this anyways. Then delay your turn because really you can't do anything at the moment. <laughs> oh, bonk. Oh, yeah, you're still alive. Let us fix that issue. Nope. Rabbit's cognition. 
finish them off. Nice and simple start off mission to get us warmed up again to the matter. To this game, rather. And continue this around this guy. I will get you, Necron. Ah, we can have cognition like that. Boop, boop, boop. That bonk. Nice, great. Nice, 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 nice. You still can't really do much, but yeah, you know what? That is fun. Ah, hello, Scarabs. I see y'all have come to join the party. Up. We don't really need anything. They're gonna skitter towards us. That is fine. So I'm gonna make sure this thing is dead. Through good old fashion overkill. Oh god, I crit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of overkill. Just a little bit. So I can poke from this corner. Perfect, I can. Poke. Go over here and start a blaster. Threat remaining. An image of a Necron Lord, who can only be a Kropis, dominates one wall of this chamber. The image is surrounded by complex star charts and diagrams of unknown constellations. Clearly, given the objective of this mission, such an icon of blasphemy cannot be allowed to stand. We can demolish, destroy with explosives. Uh, we know what we like. The throne toppled by hand so it shatters on the floor. Hopefully without as much noise as an explosive demolition. What's the fun in that? Delegate. Report its location to Skatari units so they can follow up and destroy it. I mean... I don't care what it does to us. Kaboom! <laughs> Lycon is destroyed with a single demolition charge. The image of Acropis is utterly obliterated, though the noise will have attracted attention. This is fine. I will usually, mostly always, uh, choose the option to blow shit up. Oceans of Mars, what a sight. Standard procedure is to administer medical aid, but it's your call, Matos. Ah, a wounded Skatari lies in the chamber, severely injured and barely alive. Layers of his flesh have been stripped away by Necron God's weaponry. He is moaning and insensible, and his survival seems unlikely. We can assist him, administer what first aid is possible in the hope that he will be able to make his own way back to friendly lines. Leave him, leave this Skatari trooper, but relay his location to other nearby units. Or kill him, put the Skatari out of his misery. Well, we... we will do our best. The cohort members do what they can to make the trooper comfortable, but he is too far too severely wounded. In spite of their lengthy efforts, he perishes from bullet loss and massive shock. The time taken here has set back the mission, but at least he did not suffer as greatly as he could have. I don't know, we only got Blackstone. <laughs> so, I say we did the right thing. To the next event, this will alert them to our presence. Yep, our presence has indeed been detected. That is fine, that is unavoidable. We will do what we can. And do what we can, we shall. Oh, 
we have a little bit more company here, but a little bit more cognition sorts. Sources. We have a two right there. We have a two right there. There's our scan. There's our scan deal. Let's see here. We have a Lich Guard there, an Immortal there, an Immortal, a Lich Guard, Immortal. That's three Immortals so far. Two Lich Guards and our good old Destroyer friend. Alright, let us proceed carefully and honestly, them come a bit to us. This is also a map. Looky there, looky there, with potential for other things to rise up. I'm not sure if it will, but the potential is there. We shall be uh, cautious in that regards. On servitor, not right now. Not right now. Story moves forward. Order goes bonk, 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 and actually has a shot, unfortunate. And now we start off with you. Let's see, I wonder. If we go here with you, can we get a shot off on both of these? Ooh, uh, yes. Yes, we can. This, I approve of more. We'll do that. Get the shield too, because we're in a little bit of a vulnerable position. And now, zappy zap. Meow. Each guard moves sword, because that's what they do. That is, that is fine. Then we go Kablam. And then take that out. Can we take it in the far one? Yeah. Do I care? No. Shield already coming in useful. Let's get you within the confines of this. You took a bit of a hit there. I do have disappearers on you. Given I just have straight out healing on them because they're my healer. Nice crit. Nice, nice, nice crit. I'm gonna touch up. Touch our healer up. Then you go all the way over there and grab those two cognitions. We are in a good spot to start blasting. Energy up, energy up. Cognition and Hello, you two. Fancy a spot of kaboom. <laughs> that one is still alive. That is, um, not what I consider ideal, but we'll work with it. We'll work with it. It's that Lich Guard's turn, then it's that one. Might as well go for glory and hope that this one is already enough. Oh, it has so much energy armor. That's why it's still alive. Unfortunately, it has to walk through my gauntlet of people. This. This is good. Lich Guard will take a bit to reach us. But we are pressing our attack from a different angle. It's everything like this one. Ah, well, look at that. Look at that. Hello, you. You have no physical armor. Can I go a little... 
Alright. Attempted 12, which means I feel like this is a good time for the cans. Just to ensure. Okay, a crit, 100%, very much ensures. Yeah, fair enough. And then go whoop 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 so that Immortal can't see us. At least immediately. He's like, hey, wait a second, where'd you go? Sorry, not accepting callers, goodbye. Alright, let me grab some cognition out of this fine fellow. Oak. Get cognition like this. Well, two cognition, rather. And then we have enough for the time to get back into the shield. Yay, shield! Destroyer gets to go again because it's got him destroyer. Ah, of course, it's found the angle on our. on that poor fellow. Shwoosh, whoosh. You know what? Servitor. You have done your job. <laughs> Alright, I just need to move them out of the way now. I'm not up. I'm dead. Oh, I'm right here. Something would come at me. Or something along those lines. Uh, that's not ideal. This, however, is very ideal. Because we have Zappy Gun. Zappy Gun. The gun that goes zap in a line. Yeah, I don't have anything to buff up, so. Boop. Crit. I saw that crit. I enjoyed seeing that crit. Just a little bit further. Bonk. Go up here into this one's face. Ah, it has armor. Fair enough. It's fine. I'm just here to give you a little tap. By little tap, I apparently mean a crit. Okay, that works. And then she... Go over here. Select cognition. And then put this scene out of its misery. Ah, I was gonna say, I about forgot I... Probably maybe want to heal that one, but yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter. Because I couldn't reach it without going all the way around it, please. I'm just gonna keep on shooting the destroyer. You know what destroyers are like? Not ideal is the answer. I can. I can put this thing heal off. Turn on my ranger because, yeah. Then, near old. It was this close to being dead. This close. You get down. And you know what? You stay down. Boop. Hello, I'm here. 
in your face. To punish you of everything. And now when it tries to move for this coming turn, it is gonna get wrecked. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Alright, I've got to do my safety save. Uh, oops. Grab that. And you also grab that? Yeah, sure, sure. That's fine. I can fire my gun. There is not much purpose at the moment. There's literally only the last remaining Lich Guard. Could start going at it on that, but that's just gonna invite my ranger to be in a very bad spot. So just get her on over here. Skitter, 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 skitter. Ah, we got newbies. Two glitch guards, in fact. Well, good thing I consolidated my people. Because otherwise, that would be awkward. My server friend. Let's see what you can do about standing there like a loon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I move here. Should be able to hit this and provoke them. Without getting hit by some nice crit. I could get crit. Uh, move back here. Shield up. Grab uh, that condition. And we shove another jump. but I actually want those two to move. The more likely they're being aligned by the end of their turns, well, the better. And let's be fair, they probably are. You, you are blocking the stairs. We got from that. Because my warrior can move the furthest without a doubt. To the console. Here's our black stone. Here's our reduction. This to awakening is a okay. Can go there. And you know what, grab some cognition from that. There's more of that good old auto repair. Uh, let's play your turn to see where this one goes. Ah, how kind of you. <laughs> Kind of them indeed. Let's use up a lot of my cognition. Yeah, do a mine. Hills new. Bonk. That one walks closer. Also walks closer. Move a little 
little bit back. That one should be far enough away. Oh wow. I almost killed it with the crit. I won. Unfortunate. Uh, I. That's it. I need cognition. And luckily, I still have this one in front of me. Yes, it did. And there is very much no reason to keep up the attack there. It has so much physical. Look at how much physical that is. Seven. Oof. Get him out of repair. Freedom. Then we give it the zap. Boom. And we are golden there. We are very grand vista of the night sky over Silva Tenebris dominates the ceiling of this chamber. It has enough detail to serve as a stellar map, and few of the heavenly bodies local to this star system are visible. We can collapse, bring the ceiling down, so this monument to Acropis' stargazing will be no more. We can compare, juxtapose the map system to the star map with the current sky over Silva Tenebris to learn of any differences between the two. Or collect. Some of the stars are marked with what looks like precious stone. Acquire them. Ooh, precious stone. Hmm. Tempted between knowledge and kaboom. Considering what we're working for here, though, in this situation, uh, shh. Air demolition charges brings the whole ceiling down into the chamber. The offensive fresco is destroyed, but the chamber is also rendered impassable, forcing the goer to find an alternate route forward. You know, that's about what I expected. Plus initiative is not a huge deal. Generally. Alright, there's a glyph. Don't have any easy choices. No, we just have four random choices. Uh, da, 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 da. I literally closed my eyes to click that. Like, uh, plus three cognition. That's acceptable. Mission Necrons in battle. Number of Skatari lie dead at an improvised barricade. It seems they are overrun by the enemy, who must still be nearby. Burn? Burn the bodies in a pyre. Their bodies can at least be put to be put beyond whatever use the enemy might have for them. Broadcast transmission transmit images of the dead to other units in the tomb to instill in them a fury at the enemy and lust for righteous vengeance. And that could be bad. Booby trap. Booby trap the barricade so future enemy movement in this area will be punished. Now nah, we're just gonna burn the bodies. A few vials of Prome Prometheum ignite the corpses and they are quickly reduced to ash and bone. Even these Turan's funerary rites leave the cohort satisfied that the bodies are beyond the use of the enemy. Oh, bless you there. Also, I just realized I didn't do my um, safety save. Whoops. 
Let's be sure that's there, just in case bad things happen. Alright, there we go. Finally took over to three. No doubt. Took over three, but that's not a huge deal. For our final room on this mission. A bit higher awakening than I want to, but maybe we'll get lucky with the consoles. We'll probably not get lucky with the consoles. <laughs> uh... Huh. Ah. We have a Necron Lord here. I did not expect a Necron Lord here. Okay, okay. Alright, we have bigger issues now than um, looking for consoles or whatnot. Okay, Immortal, Lich Guard. There's our Necron Lord. There's an Immortal. There's an Immortal. There's a Lich Guard. And everyone is going to go first. Like, no doubt about that. You there because you go first. And she is already here. But you're a healer, so I kinda like you there. Go right here. Oh, where do we want our warrior? the music because there's Necron Lord. Then our wall of servitors. <laughs> this will be fine. All the three. Go there. Excellent. They could not get a shot off. Now let's, that other Lich card looked like it had a big old gun. No, no, it's just a bit odd looking. Seven damage, but it is indeed alive. Lord, he coming. There he goes. Uh huh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'll admit, not what I was expecting it to do. Putting a lot of shit in the way of me. Yeah, thank you for that. Question mark? I can't exactly reach that one at the moment. Hell, I can't exactly reach anything at the moment. I can shoot from there, but that, um. I want to just straight out hurt my own bit, dude. to be close enough for shield purposes. Not sure. Let's just get a beat on its stats right now. 30 health to 3 energy. Okay. Okay. Can press advantage. Rawr. 
yell in your face and then whack you with the sir alarm. Boop. Their cover around the leaves too much. Because, well, I don't expect them to last, but I think I can at least go here. We know the Lord is coming down on this way, so we shall take advantage of the matter. Go over here. Heal up our surge so they can last a little bit longer. There goes Servitor. Gear, and we'll charge one of our guns by blasting this thing. None of that now. Thou shalt stay in death. Not that I want to, but that means this is not a bad place to camp out. Huh? Let's just let things stick away. Alright, let's go. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. 
Hi, the servitor can't get through. It's a bit roundabout, but it can get through. in the way, so, uh, right there. Just stay here for now. Delay turn. Because we want this lord to come to us. <laughs> that immortal's blocked from getting to us, and that is fine. Excellent. Here's where we take advantage. Ranger's gonna provoke that thing to move. And that is just fine. Also, this guy's gonna pr <laughs> provoke things to move clearly as well. Because line attacks. Gonna need all the cottage we can get in a bit. Then again, we do have. Uh, I do have uh, that. the sound that makes. Just chitching. Bonk. Nice crit. <laughs> Speaking of nice crits, hello, welcome to Crit Hala. Oh, yeah. We're going full hog. Flamethrower go, burr. And now go over here. Auto repair. Honestly, we have this Necron Lord pretty well on the ropes. Pretty well on the ropes. Actually, we're probably going to kill it here before my range even gets a turn. Oh, no, wait. Close, but not quite. Well, let's we just go. Let's we just run up and smack it. I don't know. I guess we might as well, might as well do. Cognition. We can go up. We can poke it for more cognition. Actually, we can just poke it to death. No, I can't. That's one damage. Anyway, poke for two more cognition. And hello. Not the embarrassment of dying to my medic. Oh, all the barriers are down. Okay. And hello! Remember when I said have the embarrassment of dying to my medic? Yeah, we're double down, you know that. And goodbye, Necron Lord. Get wrecked. Alright, so that leaves us with an immortal, a Lich Guard, and an immortal on the other side of the board. go full hog on my ranger yet. I want to be able to get into a solid line, which means having folks move closer. Foosh, foosh, foosh. Need that. 
This server nurse probably can be killed, but that's fine. The server nurse has done their duty. Proudly in the name of the Omni sign. Just go that way. Do we have any more things? We do have uh, that. Another. Can't school the crap, but not that that does really much. Slowly, but it's working that way. That triggers an opportunity, but not to be triggered. Let's use all my cognition, but we can fix that. Lessons of the Omnicide. Now let's show these two what we're making. But not quite. Anyways, I'm so blasting. <laughs> there was a lich guard there. Was. There was also an immortal there, too. Was. Well, let's see what this one's stats are. Okay, four. This cognition. We do this so this thing does not get back up. Ever. And then we can just zoom on next to you. Pokey doesn't do much here. Heck, our regular deal here doesn't do much, but damage is. Charging up our machine spirit is charging up our machine spirit. It's only one of the lows left, that is a okay. Cognition gathered there. No, oh, nice we use up the cognition because, well, most of our folks have that to get cognition back on zero. Most of us. 
Yeah, like that. Just <laughs> a canticle for free. We'll probably do that, actually. Which then that does that cost? Two. Okay, okay, we can make that work. We can just go like this. Go overzealous. Get nine more cognition points. Then use them almost immediately to go. See if we can get any damage. <laughs> well, there we have it. There we indeed have it. No threats remaining. Only three awakening. Not not bad for not really getting much in the way of uh, the consoles. Mission complete. The cohort enters the grand hall where the walls are covered in dense hieroglyphics. Recording Acropis's astronomical theories and readings. Demolition charges are placed at each corner, and the cohort falls back before detonating them, collapsing the chamber entirely and obliterating the knowledge inside. Precious and irreplaceable knowledge, but also dangerous beyond reckoning. I am not uh, ignorant of the step you have taken, Magis. Many tech priests would have been blinded to their duty by their lust for acquiring this for forbidden knowledge. Not you. In my time on this planet, I have uh, been aware of my emotional cores returning disgust, anger, and hatred at the deeds of the Necrons. Upon examining the logic of such emotional responses, I find them justified, uh, given the given the morale dangers the Necron pose. Moral. One of those. And destroying them is the only rational course. I thank the Omnisai you are in command of this mission. I believe our true purpose is clear, and that you have the strength to see it done. I can take you into my confidence now, Machos. One of our eh, servitors, that's alright. And free. Pardon me, three awakening, so we're gonna be jumping up to 61. We have destroyed the chamber knowledge. We have gained our axe. Put it out of that. All three of that. 684 mouse clicks. 675 distant travel. Seven rooms explored, eleven turns played, seventy-six attacks, three hundred and seventy-eight damage dealt, fifty-two damage taken, one unit lost. Battle time, fifty minutes, twenty-seven seconds, eight hundred and sixty-two milliseconds. Your deal is still... The kaboom. Oh god, that's a heavy destroyer. <laughs> uh, not the most promising thing to see. Wait, I didn't put an upgrade axe? Wait, did I? No, no, I didn't. For some reason, I thought I just did not have a frickin'. Oh. 
Look at that power axe. Look at that beautiful power axe. Aw, oh, that is worth getting for the looks alone. So this is our progression of power axes. Go strum. That's simple. That's simple cute little thing. To this. Additional spikes and whatnot. To this beauty. Aw. Oh, that is such a beautiful power axe. I approve wholeheartedly. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Alright, uh, all tech priests, one tech priest of your choice. Da, 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 not much else for them. Let's see, who else can I potentially get to? 17 or 16. 17 with one slot available. We shall give you this mute. 17 without an extra slot. Okay. You do not use axes. You are all the pew pew. And you still have one more slot. So you need room for the power axe, so we shall our healer, and you need room for it. Alright, purpose. Ah, uh, we need to get you avoiding opportunity attacks too. Right, okay. Good one to head towards then. Take that off, grab the big axe. Such a cool looking axe. Uh, you have that. Uh, what else would I be working on for you? Rather, what have I been working on for you? It's a very good question. Uh, I might as well do that one. It's a good skill. Take that off, we'll put that on. With, with those, I don't know. We need more augment slots for me anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah this looks like a fine set for now. Upgrade you soon enough so you have more things to work with. The fact that you have the auto repair is good. You are our. Yeah, you are a healer. We are already kind of. Our debating. You have the auto repair and the opportunity attacks. That is good. It's very good. You have that. You have the auto repair, and we need one more to avoid opportunity attacks. As for you, well, you do have auto repair, which is good. Could get you more healy stuff. Honestly, it might not be the worst call to get you that. It's a long term thought. Just have our ranger not be able to be messed around with in that capacity. Oh, I'll, I'll consider it. So you, you have augment slots you're not using, but the more you use there, the more expensive. Okay. That should do us for now. Save so I... Safety save. And now let's decide on which mission I want to go on. Let's see here. This one has Heavy Destroyer, Cryptic, Immortal, Warrior. That might not be a bad call. You have a Heavy Grav Cannon, but... A whole bunch of everything. You have... That's a whole bunch of everything. That's... Plate 1 Deathmark Destroyer Immortal is not so bad. Multiple projectiles. Upgrade to our Vanguard Alpha. Yeah, that's one I might feel like doing. 
that's heavy arc rifle in there. So I can't do too much, but... For now, I think this one is a good one to execute. The Charnel Pit. The original source of biological materials used by the flayed ones of the tomb of Absho must be the settlers from St. Eckhart's Hope. Find their remains and recover any archaeotech and resources they possessed. Let us launch our tech trees and our army of servitors. If timeline research equals true, then research opportunities acquired. Hypothesis. Settlers of St. Eckhart's Hope provided original source of biological materials for flayed ones. A gruesome fate and a warning about the unlearned strain too close to the works of the alien. Settler remains is still present in Tomb of Absho, likelihood greater than zero. Hypothesis Edenum, Archaeotech and other supplies still present with remains. Acquiring it would be a task few would relish, but if such material is there to be recovered, it may be worth the risks. Tech Acquisitor Mindset Detected. <laughs> I like Scavola. I well, my title is the way it is. For once, I doubt there will be too much difficulty locating our objective. I do not know what means the Necrons used to preserve the tissue of the settlers the flayed ones brought into the tomb, but it worked until now. <laughs> Hypothesis. Tomb's location by Skatari scouts precipitated a process of decay. Whatever the reason, you'll just have to follow the stench. There's no time to remove the cohorts or factory capabilities to make the mission less onerous. They shall have to ask the Omnisci for the strength to cope. Oh well, um, I'm sorry my tech priest. I guess we're relying on the Omnisci there. Alright, let's see our map and themes. There's one objective there which we can just go to. Glyph, Glyph, Glyph. Event, empty square, that. We'll have to go through the empty square no matter what. And the next one is up here. Uh, we're gonna have to take some roundabout ways, but I think there, head back because that doesn't cost us anything. Boop, 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 head back, do, do, do. That sounds reasonable to me at least. And thus, I shall execute it as such. Things first, this area with as minimal fuss as possible. Hello, Necrons. In your tomb, steal and shit. Scan or destroy xenotechnology. Ah, scan or destroy. Uh, potential tomb activations there. Our scan and destroy is over here. Over here we have Destroyer, Deathmark, Immortal, Immortal. Alright, Destroyer is obviously starting first because, because that's just what they do. Recognition. They lined up first, interestingly enough. Usually Toth is. So, um, that's different. Go right there, and you, my medic. Yeah, there's fine. Start battle, and let's see what happens. Well, first things first, no surprise, the destroyer moves upwards. <laughs> and look, the destroyer has another turn. Oh, wait, that's death mark. Okay. There's another turn at the very, very end. Got to look at what we have, cognition options. The answer is not much. We have a twofer and a twofer. Okay. We can make it work. We can make it work. Probably. We might be able to make it work. Go 
over there. Use that by cognition points just to get a start on. Yeah, get a start on that destroyer. It needs to die. Destroyer always needs to die. There's no other option, but we need to be closer. For now. Those cognition points. We need an extra movement on you here. And I think we should be able to shield off it. Yeah. A little loop there. Get multiples now. Well, we'll just suffice for this one. Because that's how much I spike the stores. I'm willing to just do that. Now we can go the board and shoot it again. Bam. And then it back. What are you doing? You can shoot him all the way over there. Yeah, but I'm after you. Get him after them. Well, am I gonna trigger any hassle by standing here? No. Careful my cognition cost because there's clearly not a lot on the map. Boom. Finish that one off. And then go behind this wall. So the mortals can't find us. But oh, they're trying. Alright, now that you have some stuff to work with. Six to eight, and that's a seven. Only one of our energy deals. Can we pop it like this? Kabam. And that'll do for this turn. If I want to shoot these two, I want to do it in a row. For uh, obvious reasons. Ah, hello, flayed ones. I was wondering when y'all would show up. <laughs> show up at some point. They are flares, after all. And the flayed one If we go here, though, 
zoom. That still hit both of them. Yes, it will. Now there's two more things over there. That's fine. That is fine. And then we'll grab uh, that. The late one's gonna try to whack them. They will indeed do so. Which gives me a cognition point, humorously enough. Let's see here. If I go here. Which of a line do I have? Oh, oh. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, zap. Ooh, I saw a crit over there. I love seeing a crit. Shield up. Then kind of... Finish them off. Could finish them off. Go there, I can technically have some more movement to work with. Grab the cognition like that. Finish this one off like this. Goodbye. If I go over here, yeah, that's a good shield location. And cap this one. Bye, Flayed One. I shall very much not miss you. Less and the like. No need to worry about that at the moment. Oh, hi, look, you're in my face. Hello. <laughs> you tried to walk past the wrong person. That's a case of hey hello to your death. All right, so you are my healer. Yes. You go here. Do do into the shield. You go. Have you shoot them? Bonk. Shoot that. You shall use a point to move here. And trade gain two cognition. Then use that other surplus to go crunch. Ah, it's still alive. We'll fix that. There we go. Problem has been fixed. It is dead now. And then we shove off there. And now for our... Yes, for our ranger. Hello there. Can I shoot everything here? <laughs> the answer is most certainly. Oh, we know what we're doing. Power up. And zap. Quadruple kill! Hells yeah. <laughs> Hells yeah! That was... That was beautiful. That was so, so beautiful. Um, oh yeah. Now we're just in the soccer spot where everything's dead. Oh, well. I'm just gonna zoom along with my word to our objective. do 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 an adventure. As they just go along picking up cognition. Hello, Terminal. I'm here for you. Blackstone. Kill all enemies. Yeah, well, look at that. <laughs> we have no threat remaining. 
Uh, giving, giving that line gun to my ranger was the best decision I could have made. And I am glad for it. Also, that is... That is one gruesome image. One of the dead settlers has been transformed into a hideous trophy of skin and rearranged body parts, displayed in the center of this chamber like a signpost or monument. It is impossible to guess what the diseased flayed ones hope to achieve by creating such a thing. That is... That's... <laughs> could it... We could just email it, burn the display, investigate. Search the display for clues as to its purchase. Detonate! Ah, uh, this game knows me too, too well. Blow up the display. Uh, well... Hmm. Now we're here to find stuff, but at the same time, explosions. Ooh. Why must you tempt me? Uh... But considering this is for a scale, we'll do the option that seems fitting. Ah, my CCB. Ah, well. <laughs> Against their instincts, the code approaches the trophy to learn more about it. They are granted no further insight into the nature of the flayed ones, but are forced to spend far more time in the presence of this unholy thing than is good for their mor mor morale health. Ah, well, well, it's fine. It's fine. Our chain tech breeze. I was hoping by investigating I might, like, try to see if I could find any of that archaeotech Scavill was looking for or not, but, oh well. Potential outcome calculation follows. Research acquisition slash trap slash biohazard exposure. Ah, I see our odds are good. A sorry heap of human remains lies at the foot of one wall on, in the intersection ahead. The leathery and aged look of the skin suggests the corpse is one of the settlers dragged into the tomb by the flayed ones. Archive, document the corpse through picked grabs. Avoid, steer well clear of the corpse. It is ill-omened and a potential health hazard. Or autopsy, examine the corpse for the means of death. Uh, science. Hey, got back our cognition. And I'm only at the cost of initiative. The brittle corpse breaks open upon contact, ex 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 exuding a cloud of toxic spores. In spite of this, the means of death is clear. Several deep, lacerating wounds from long, extremely sharp blades. Ah, uh, this is fine. This is fine. It's probably not fine. It's fine enough. That's an empty room, it's just gonna tick things up, so let's hit up our next objective. I'll tick up a little bit more. We are very close to additional enemies. Let's see if there's any convenient consoles. Probably not, but we shall see. Alright, there's the swarms of flayed ones. There's consoles, not activated scanned ones, but consoles. There's in fact nothing of that sort. We have an immortal, a death mark, and two flayed ones. And obviously they all go first because initiative increase. Right, so you there. No, no. You there. My ranger there. You go. You go there. You are my enemy expert. You shall go there. You are my healer. Kinda go there in the center. And let her rip. That's what I was hoping that flayed one would do. Try to whack the one that is plaintively stronger. That's it, though. That's energy damage. <laughs> it's fine. We have a healer. We have the technology. Speaking of which, we have the technology. Of course we got a crit. It's fine. I said, we can fix it. By the will of the ominous eye, we can fix it. First things first. Those are our two options. We have a flamethrower, but that would be a foolish idea. <laughs> that would be a very foolish idea. Don't mind 
using this because oh a that immortal needs to die b i'm just gonna move forward here and collect more that is fine so overwatch is gone please be and bonk no you can well, alright, fine. Fine, you can crit it, I guess. Alright, we'll move up here. I'm not gonna save that, but... Ooh, we can't actually hit both of them. Burn. Burn. <laughs> I like fire a bit too much. Just a bit, though. It's reasonable when you're off the uh, odds of this. And give me cognition, we do. Thank you for your generous donation. I shall be leaving now. Bye! Do 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 do. We'll repair by the auto repair. Let's see here, which is our... Is that gonna be our laser angle? We're about to find out. Do that, and... Yes, it is. Well, that flayed one is certainly dead. No arguments there, it is dead dead. Do healy things. Be repaired of your woes. Seriously, that those things messed you up. And then start shooting the moors. Excellent. More crits. More crits. That was not good. That is fine. Melee. Ah, oh, we have been steadily whittling it down. Let's finish that. Bonk. Let's for surely finish this. Oh. Ah, the power of pokey arms. Do we need to really do there? Not at the moment. Oh, just walk there. As for you, well, we're in an interesting situation where we do not actually need to use our flying gun. There's only you, so uh, you get the other rifle. Have fun. <laughs> boom and boom. No threat remains. Cleared it out before A, anything else could appear, and B, before we had to deal with the, the wagon level ticking up again. A number of dissected corpses lie in the corner of this room. They must be from among the settlers captured by the flayed ones and brought into the, the tomb long ago. Sanctify, perform funeral rites for the dead. Sanitize, burn the dead so they cannot pose a health threat to the other units in the tomb. Scavenge, loot the dead for any materials or archaeotech. Well, this is what we're here for, so. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, while rummaging through this sad pile of decaying limbs, the cohort is caught in a burst of noxious spores that have been proliferating in the corpse's innards. They come away with a few examples of useful technology and augment and augmentics uh, from the dead settlers, but are much the worse for it. Eh, we only lost some cognition, but we gained a cogni cognitive canister. Targeted troop, and its next base of damage is plus three and plus a hundred percent critical chance. 
boosting the cognitive canister allows the user unbelievable cognitive processing power, able to analyze the target's uh, weaknesses within microseconds, improves the probability of precision attacks on the target's most vulnerable elements. That'll be nice for when we set up a troop, troop enhancing, enhancing tech priest. Once we find wherever our tech priest number six is, because that is that's max level one. Cool. Worth the cognition points, hundred percent. All right, walk there, and then we'll trigger whatever comes next with the awakening by walking here. Necrons in battle. No shock there. Those are glyph. Agri. <laughs> oh look, we got our cognition back. <laughs> How convenient. Where should we go to that event? A bizarrely neat and ordered display of human skulls is arranged on shelving in the chamber ahead. The skulls are placed around the wall mountain sarcophagus, from which the stumbling Necron has already departed. Sarcophagus, we can examine the sarcophagus. Skulls, examine the skulls. Or some total, relay pictograms of the scene to the Castius Metallican to cross a reference against any similar findings. Yeah, that seems reasonable, which means it's probably gonna backfire on me. Hey, look, it backfired on me. The socio-anthropological databanks of the Castius Metallican log similarities to high-status burial sites in pre-imperial human societies. The ambiguity about uh, whether the skulls were arranged by necrons or captive humans creates unpleasant possibilities in the minds of the cohort. Yeah, oh, well, on we go. <laughs> The music got really quiet there for a second. It was concerning. It's fine. Oh, right then. Let's see our setup here. We have two consoles, finally. We have some consoles to deal with. Of course, we also have just a barrage of enemies. Immortal, Immortal... Two Immortals, the Destroyer... And the four flayed ones. I'm not overly worried about the flayed ones. That destroyer, well, obviously I'm worried about the destroyer. It's a destroyer. Alright, let us get everyone situated. You are our cognition. You are shockingly going first. We'll have a ranger here. You here? No way. Yeah. You there. Have a servitor out front it and hope that they shoot the servitor, I guess. I know. Callus. I know what they signed up for. I don't know what they signed up for. Um, oh, right, yeah. I wanted you in somewhat of a position to move. So you go there. You there. I will, in fact, have my ranger just kind of be over here instead. And still have those two front because of all the flayed ones. Okay, that immortal's moving. I'm gonna say, they are very kindly putting us in... T <laughs> I mean, well... Yeah. Okay, then that's very polite of them. Let us not put a bad name to their work. And go ahead and shoot them. Bonk. Right, I keep on doing this in the order. Oh well. It's fine. Critical flamethrower. How's he? Poke. And poke. And say hello to the axe. Even though you have a lot to cover the axe, well, say hello to it. Bonk. Haha, <laughs> seven crit. Ah, beautiful. And you re 
fair. Flayed one goes. Hey, wait a second. What are you doing? Here? But I matrix dodge out of the way. Another four damage. Although they are going to get shot. We can we can accept that. <laughs> and then they burn. Perfect. All right. Let's see here. Here, we're provoking a lot of opportunity attacks. And let us go here. I'm trying to see if I can get that one and that one, because obviously I'm not as worried about the... <laughs> I dodged that as well. Hell yeah. Ah, oh. oh, it's a beautiful scene. Seeing my tech priest just dodge everything. And bonk. X. Got the kill. Tech priest. I mean, the servitor. Interesting. I thought they'd go for the one right next door. Oh well. Their loss. Alright, get my healer up to here. Get you back in shape. Huh? <laughs> Didn't grab that combination. Fair enough. We're doing our health. Relatively fine. You, my servitor. With a little over Boom. Boom. And okay. <laughs> I love when it is. I say overkill and then it just crits. It is immensely satisfying. Uh, delay your turn. I want you to go. And I want you to scan that. And then do your usual of destroying it. Go a poke. And then we go for the double poke. Grab a cognition. What's that what you have going on for you, Ada Saran? By all means, don't let me get in your way. Oh, no way. Please let me get in your way. Bye! <laughs> Just crit for the double measure. I'll I'll gladly take it. And then, hello, I am here now. You're the only survivor. You of course have 
They of course have all the health. I mean, all the energy armor. Because, of course they would. Oh, well, we're still going all in. Because there's really no reason not to at this point. And I'm not hitting any of my people. Also, this will shred one of its energy armors. Just like that. Bonk and kabonk. Up to two, and we are getting a flayed one. Hi, hello there. We don't really need to drop anything else in at the moment. Go over here and grab this cognition. It is uh, so handedly here. And then, kabonk. And I don't know, just get out of the way over here. That ticks down, that ticks down. Flayed one so politely gets closer to us. Do the two damage for me. Or will it just spite me with the one? Yeah, it'll spite me with the one. That's out, alright. Alright, fine. Oh. We're mostly healed up. Actually, they are. Cool. Oh well, uh. Hello there, you. You like to talk with my machine spirit? No, too bad. You shall meet death. And that is no threat remaining. We are sitting exactly on three, which is unfortunate, but it'll have to do. Mission complete. The cohort finally reaches the main repository of the remains of the dead settlers. Stripped of skin and flesh, the heap of bones and desecra desiccated tissue contains several examples of valuable augmentations and a few items of archaeotech. The cohort returns to the tomb entrance with their scavenged hall. Acquis acquisition enumeration commencing. Archaeotech and augmentic resources greater than mission losses. Conclusion positive. I've put myself some solace that something of value has been retrieved from the Tomb of Absho. Whatever we acquired will do much good in the continuation of our mission. Addem addendum personal. My own augmentations failing. Ocular bionic selected. Replacement imminent. Uh... Doop. We lost nobody. We were not injured. Gain three levels of awakening to our bard put, will put us to 64%. There's, of course, a bajillion flayed ones we've killed, as is usual when we do missions here at the Tomb of Hub Show. Gained a heavy fossil uh, for Blaster. It is. Ah, multiple projectiles in a cone area. But is it reveal statistics and four to six energy damage in an area? Skatari Vanguard Alpha 2 and more Blackstone. 429 mouse clicks, 325 distant travel, eight rooms explored, five turns played, 48 attacks, 287 damage dealt, 30 damage taken, zero units lost. Battle time. 26 minutes, 58 seconds, 181 milliseconds. And that gives us some stuff to upgrade. We want you to be up. Um, what do we want to upgrade? 
is going to be the question. We might as well do that. Sure, there is no harm in such. If we wanted to, we could. What is the thing here to decide what should use this? Power field generators. Have I really just not found any power field generators? I feel like I haven't. Which is really, really weird. Power field generators. These are spotlights. These are these. Noise reducer. Yeah, I'm not sure if I found any power field generators. Unless I'm just mistaking things, but it's here. That's weapons we found. That's not gonna do us any good. Ooh, there is more to that trade of deals. Here's your support items. I feel like our power fuel generators is, um, whichever sits right there. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's kind of the thing I keep on looking out for and we keep on not finding. The troops, there's our ship, here's our canticles. Where you need to suffer more energy attacks, suffer more physical attacks. Eh. It'll happen if it happens. And kill bosses. Dear, what is your mission, by the way? Ah, another scanner of that one. Although I think that's. Yeah, okay. That one we already had. This one is. Ah, arc pistol. Okay, kind of an upgrade to the free, free deals. Destroy enough fleet once for Skavola to be satisfied. Rending the Veil. Engage and destroy three groups of fleet ones uh, so their uh, discorporation can be observed. Tech Inquisitor Skavola has mentioned this mission is of great importance to our research, but has neglected to log why it's so important. Alright, here's our other options. Do theirs. Because that's it's a fairly simple one, but um first things first, upgrade. You are level 18, you are 17, 17, 18, 17, and 18. So we want to continue upgrading these folks. Um I got them to there. You know what? Sure, we'll use most of our stuff, but we'll kind of work towards opportunity attacks. That'll really, really benefit. Do we want another... Do we want to upgrade that? That's four to six, that's four to six. So that's the same, just more costly, but it's a cone area attack. How does it look? <laughs> really cool is the answer. Really cool. I can say, does it give a shot of the range? sure we can see the range on things. That's a phosphor. That's the heavy phosphor. I might as well give it a shot and see. If it doesn't work out, I can always switch it. But it looks cool at the very minimum. It looks cool. Gives some more AoE things, just a different style of AoE attack. So, yeah, I can roll with that. Alright, let's find our mission. We'll do this one. Carrion Crew. The corpses of the settlers who long ago reached the tomb of Abshu may still have augmentations in Archaeotech that surpasses current Imperial technology. Quartermaster Rowe has identified these as a potentially viable resource to be recovered from the tomb. Ah, so, kind of similar purpose to what we intended to do already. I mean, what we were kind of doing for Scave only just we're doing it for our Quartermaster this time. Find the augmentations of the previous excavation. 
Alright, Flayed One, Immortal, Praetorians. We'll have to watch out for a bit of destroyers. Shouldn't be a bad setup. Oh. Oops. Uh, and all the servitors to the Tomb of Abshu presents an opportunity for resource acquisition. Will not be pleasant. Pleas pleasantness or otherwise, it is not an issue for Mattress of Mars. What is this opportunity? Settlers of St. Eckhard set hope to breach the tomb. Flayed ones used their corpses as raw materials. Those settlers possessed archaeotech and augmentations now lost to imperial science. And you suggest recovering these materials for our use? I comprehend the disgust such a proposal would have for less augmented personnel. Augmentations and forgotten tech are extremely valuable to Medicaid facilities. If the opportunity arises, Quartermaster, I shall see if these resources can be returned to Imperial use. So, similar presence to our la uh, to our other mission, but for the purposes of our Quartermaster. We shall see what we find. My scouts have postulated a deposit of bodies at a location well within the tomb. It would explain how the Flayed Ones got their biological material before any Skitari were lost inside. Preservation of corpses is remarkable. The sealed environment in the tomb probably helped mummify the dead from St. Eckhart's hope, huh? Maybe some Necron technology, too. Whatever it is, it stopped when we breached the tomb because the place stinks of decay. Then time to recover is limited. Decomposition and Necron use will soon render them beyond our grasp. Carrying crew. Deployment number 28. First things first, safety save. We go like that, and we go like that. Turn to game. Alright. Here's our map. We go like that. One, two, one, two. Two, three, four. Then that, that. Well, we could kind of go a little bit more roundabout of a journey. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine turns to all that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, let's just take this one around. It's, it's valuable time. The chamber is strewn with human bones, picked clean of any flesh. From skulls and pelvises to vertebrae and tiny bones from the hands and feet. It is impossible at a glance to tell how many skeletons must have contributed to the scene. Examine. Examine the bones for clues as to their origin. Expropriate. Search through the bones for anything of value. Extract. Collect skulls for conversions into servo skulls later. Ah, um, well, search for anything of value. That's what we're here for doing. Ah, might as well, that's fine. The cohort sifts through the bones of anything of but anything of value has been taken or perished. They do, however, disturb a nest of scarabs that had that has taken up residence in a discarded pelvis. One of the cohort is badly bitten before the tiny necron constructs can be dispersed. Oh well, we can fix it. We have the technology. Go here and here. We have the technology to fix our bones. Our presence has been detected. That is fine, it's about happening. Let's see if we can get luckier on the um, consoles, but... Not fully expecting it. There is one console. There's also a Praetorian! And, okay, the store is all the way over there. Good. Our rangers lined up first. Uh, no thank you on that. We will be delaying their turn. But more importantly... Well, defensive formations. <laughs> because of the Praetorian. Alright. The story goes... Bloop. You delay turn. Rude. Alright. 
it's a late turn. Ah, oh, we had two Praetorians. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can work with it. Of course, the crits. Alright, first things first, let's get a shield up and going. point. Is there anything to grab? Yes, there is. That's fine. Near old. Good, good, solid whack there. Uh, broken opportunity tag. You know what? I'm fine with that. Probably need to get back into position. Is our reach long enough? It is. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. By little friend, I mean a laser of extreme power. Ah, perfect. Bonk. And now I can just move uh, politely back into defensive formation. Delay turn. Delay turn. Let this other Praetori Praetorian come at us. It had one health. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure, it had one health. Now oh, here come the flayed ones. The destroyer will take its second turn because it's a dick. But he just kind of shimmy back over there again. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, you. Yeah, you, you gather cognition. Oak. Oak. Uh, finish that fellow off. This is more cognition. That and that. I don't really have a concentration, so. Self repair. Use our healer. We need you to heal them up and them up. Maybe you can do this one on distant her. Yeah. You have basic guns. Actually, might turn into our benefit. Yeah, you'll be our cleanup crew here. And boop. And boop. And that is all nice and cleared up. Run over here and get a cognition. I'm gonna stay in the shield. This one, however. Hello, immortal. You are... You're a danger. Ah, yeah, you are very much a danger. Six to eight. Sure, we might as well. Just do not want this thing on the board. Hi, salon, get wrecked. Here, and then we should be able to... Yeah, right here, swim. You are not in trouble of those things. Grab cognition, and then we shall proceed. Everyone else is shielded. I do not need a servitor. Destroyer just does not know what to do, make of itself. It really does not. Uh, let's see here. 
This is our new toy. Oh dear gods. Th that's its range? <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm moving here. Oh dear gods! This is... This is silly. And I love it. I cannot wait to find out how it looks. Oh, I love new toys. Uh, how does this look? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. Well, I enjoyed that severely, and yes, that weapon is stain on them. <laughs> there is no room to put out there. That's that weapon stain equipped. It's, it's my ranger's upgrade, and it's gonna stay there. Right, grab that black stone. And then we shoot it. Any more movement? Not a whole lot, but let's get a range for my arc rifle. Not guaranteed to do damage, but... Ah! Of course, hit the one value that it wouldn't. Oh well. This destroyer will be dead by the end of this. There's nothing stopping me from doing so. Alright, you can shoot it from there. Then my warrior should be able to finish it off. Oh, only one of you is gonna be there. Uh, okay, fair enough. Hello, it is me, the warrior. If you could so politely die, that that's really appreciated. It does not have an option this matter. Bonk. <laughs> oh, and a crit. Excellent. Mission that's on the board, and no threat remaining. Solid first combat, and oh dear gods, I like that heavy phosphor er, deal. Could this be one of the places the settlers breached? It could be worth examining. Maybe the remains are close by. The remains of some badly corroded mining equipment, evidently of human origin, lie beside a filled-in breach in the wall and ceiling of this passageway. Exploit, loot the mining equipment for any useful components, examine, search the area for signs of the settlers' activities, excavate, and dig out the excavated areas to look for clues. I mean, we're here for technology and materials, so let's see what the mining equipment has. Ah. Rusting carcass of the mining rig turns out to be home to a small hive of Necron Scarabs. They swarm over the tech priests who are forced to destroy the mining rig in fending them off. They're nearby Necrons in the process. Ah well, we tried. Do, 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 do. Necrons in battle. Morbid curiosity increases, and slash irresistible slash delectable slash fascinating curiosity. Perfect addition to my spine collection? Wait. Ah, that... That is a spine. On a pedestal in this uh, filthy and corroded chamber is an incongruously bright, uh, polished item resembling a human spine cast in chromed metal. This appears to be an augmentation route from one of the dead settlers, though it is strange to see it on dis see it displayed like this. Aversion? Leave the spine alone. It is obviously the bait for a trap. 
awareness, examine the rest of the chamber before deciding how to proceed, or avarice, and take the spine. It is clearly a rare and valuable augmentic. I mean, heck, Scavola seems to really want it. Sure. Spine collection equals incomplete, plus booting up sorrow. Sorrow purged successfully. Ah. <laughs> One member of the cohort enters the chamber and takes the spine. In retrospect, it is not surprising that a concealed explosive goes off, destroying the spine and injuring the trooper in the process. In addition, data alarms sound uh, that must be summoning the tomb's denizens from nearby. Uh, rest in peace, spine. Rest in peace. This why I never really exactly gun for the events a whole lot. They don't necessarily give... Uh, Good stuff. Uh, hello there. A s <laughs> Omniscien Axe. Arcs of frightful energy spark from this multi-purpose tool. Tech priests use the Omniscien Axes to perform rites and canticles, at the same time crushing the life from the misguided Xenos breeds. Oh, okay. We have found... A another melee weapon. One that doesn't cost to use. Which is interesting. Machine Spear to immobilize the target is also interesting. Cooldown 1. Yeah, 2 to 4 damage. It's its basic version because it's the first we found it, but uh, hey. We'll take it. I guess that's our consolation prize for the poor spine. Just a piece spine. Love some more consolation to reduce my awakening, but these Tomb of Abishu doesn't seem to have those ripe in number. There's a Praetorian. Bonus Praetorian. We do not like bonus Praetorians because there's already two on the board. Uh, one, uh, two things to scan. You're at a kill all materials. One, two uh, Praetorians. Uh, three Praetorians. One Immortal. One. Two, three, four, five, six-ish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six flight ones. Okay. Okay. Let's get into our defensive formation, because, well, Praetorians, three of them at that. Here and there. And start battle. And later. Yes, come to us. Alright, you are right there next to that one. That is actually plenty fine. The critical is unfortunate, but otherwise it's plenty fine. to delay your turn. You won't, though. Put a little shield up. Shall ask them a question. I have another cognition point. You can poke them away. Poke. You go there now. If we can position this right, that I don't know. If we can. Uh, yeah. Location ready, go. Excellent. We took out both of them. Cap this one, because we can. And thus we should. Then we line up back into formation. Put two for cognition to take. It's just that one over right there. We shall take one from that. Just kind of replenish a little bit back up. 
then enter. That one decided to run past my dude. That was a mistake on its part. Mortal one actually has a shot. Wow. I mean, I had the shield up and running. Three, one. Ha! <laughs> Dodge! Hells yeah! I appreciate your dodges. Magnus is going before the rest, so, uh, delay turn. Let's see what this one does first. Ah, you're attacking that one as well. That one is not dodged, but it's probably damage absorbed because uh, the other one didn't do damage to hit out our shields, which is good. And now then, hello, gentlemen. Y'all seem to be trying to do things that I do not want you to do. Let us fix that issue. Six to eight. Engine has a lot of resistance to it, but we'll, we'll work around it. Actually, is it even these ones that I want to go for there? Maybe not. I actually go for the mortal because I have my ranger and can still go up. You don't know what? Sure. Sure. Oh mortal, I've changed my mind. You are the target now. Nine to eleven with only two armor. Okay. Bonk. Ooh. Good. You know what that means? Death. Yeah, I find that a good call. That was a good call on my part. Then grab that cognition right there. And then I continue zooming. I flayed one moves. That one does not move because it is very, very gone. It's the last of that that we could absorb, but that is fine. Let's see what our ranger can do against these two. A lot is the answer. A lot. Way to get the flayed one in as well, or... No, 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 not where it's at. Not without hitting our guys. Okay. Power up. Weapon costs. Nine to eleven. Nine to eleven. All right then. That not oh, generally. I would whack him if I could, but it wouldn't do anything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> However, bonk. That was current. Hot oh, damn. It's like, however, that I can do. Oh boy, do it, I could. You know what? Yeah. Do this. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Use up one more for that. We can destroy it with pokey arms. 
Ah, more flayed ones. Oh no, the horror. Anyways. I'm not worried about flayed ones. Not overly worried, anyways. Minus two, Necron Awakening. And eh, we'll just go back to this corner. Flayed one goes, flayed one goes. They don't go very far. Not that angle. <laughs> Clearly not that angle. Or not that angle. That angle? Ah, there we go. There's our angle. I found our angle. I had to keep on maneuvering until I wasn't shooting my own people. up close. Cognition, cognition, accent. Oof. And oof. And kapow. We have this interesting situation with our healer. Uh, first things first. Well, do the heal. <laughs> then I guess we perform cleanup duty. Plenty of cognition at the moment. Should I do it like this? Go right here. Grab that black stone. Probably summon yet more flayed ones. No shock there. Like some more blade really ones to no one's surprise. And then axe the console. Still be bouncing back up to this coming turn, but that is fine. That one moves forward. Mission appears back on the board. I don't really care. And ah, oh, look how unfortunate for you all. has so much, so much range on it. I wonder if I can be super silly with it. No, I can't. At least not from this angle. Not that I can move forward, exactly. Like, or I can just go super, super overkill. Be safe with my peeps. Yeah, that's about right. Grab their cognition, then I can finish them off with the sword blade. The saw blades, rather. And a poke. And a poke. And then just get her off this direction. Do 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 do. Let's hear you. some things. Right there, let's do the thing. 
this, however, does do plenty of things. Ooh, a crit. I like crits. Go up here. Show this one that we do not give a damn for. it. Then go over here and start the flamethrower. Let's go to back up. Excellent. And that... You're still alive? How dare. I want health. Go figure. Oh, uh, damage absorbed. Burn should kill it. Just like that. And then... Still oh, there's you still alive. Oops, my bad. I am. Um, I completely forgot you were around. Uh, yeah, let, let me make up. Let me make up for you on that. See, look. Give you all the attention you deserve. It's a simple axe to the face, and now we're good. It's hard to keep track of all of them. Oh, hey, we're still at two, though. That's cool. Won't stay for long, because we have places to travel. A long dead corpse, desiccated and drawn, lies in the corner of this chamber. From the tatters of clothing and the age of the corpse, it looks like one of the settlers from St. Eckhart's Hope. Perhaps this isolated body contains some of the valuable tech Roe was seeking, or valuable information. Callus, pull the body apart to search for the cause of death. And curious, examine the corpse. Compassionate, pray for the soul of the lawn dead settler. Uh, we'll just go the middle option. The body has been dead for so long it is impossible to be certain of the cause of death. It has no visible augmentics, but still clutched in one near skeletal hand is a bespoke. Last the oh okay okay, a bespoke uh, last pistol with a set of uh, fine quality optics, a piece of craftsmanship uh, such as uh, this will make an excellent example for the mission's artificers. Let's see five blackstone. Excellent. And now we just have our final objective. So tip us over to three. We'll see how much we can reduce in the meantime. Now, reanimate one faster, and our final zone. Final battle of this mission. I have uh, plenty more to go. Ah, scanner destroy. That we are standing literally right next to. All that's gonna come up. I remember this map. It's effectively gonna be scanner destroy this, and then everything happens. Everything. Go there, you go there. Actually, we do want you, right? Actually, yeah, we do want you right here. You can scan it, it'll immediately do its thing, and then we can start poking it. As we do. Poke, poke, poke. Okay, with the saw blades. Oh, look, we've scanned it, sorry. Easy mission. And here comes all the evil. And there's our additional scanner destroys. <laughs> we'll poke this clear. We actually have an edge on that Praetorian that I will very much be taking advantage of. Actually, we have. Actually, that's just silly to think of in general. We have an edge on all these things, because my ranger's going first. You know what that means? Our new toy. That'll, that'll just destroy all of those flat out. Oh, I can't do that now. That would be, that'd be unfortunate not to get all the excess blackstone. Okay, we'll just be going with this. There we go. Still dead, but not full on destroying everything console wise. Dead. Cost us a combination, okay. Though if I grab like 
all of this cognition, then it shouldn't be an issue. And the boop. Look, we can do this still. Bonk. <laughs> I grant nothing. Nothing at all. Like I've done effectively all of this just on the turn of uh, <laughs> of my ranger. Can move over and scan it too. No, no, I shouldn't. I'll have you right there. One of those cases of nah, I shouldn't, because I do need to. You know, like I have much in the way of turns on that one. Crit on the console, overkill, but that's fine. Go here, scan this, and see what else pops up. We have an immortal. Well, uh, okay. I guess we can shoot it. Also try moving up and flamethrowing it, but... You know what, might as well. Then I can just move up with some melee range of it as well. And remember to do it in this order. And whoosh, for the burn. I do not want to shoot the dead thing over there. Go zappy zap. That has 8 health. That works for us. Cognition, get cognition. And then we can just be kind of in its face like, hi. That one ticks over. Shall we go over here? And order of operations. to that, and then no poke it to that. Let's see here, we can go here. We can finish this one off. Should be able to be good using that, then just, yeah, finish this off. A shot on it? Yes, we do. You know what? Sure. Go the full extra curricular mile here. And zap the laser right by our. Alright, that works. That works. As usual, I will never complain about a crit. Oh. I missed that destroyer. What was that destroyer there? Oh well, uh, <laughs> I shall fix that now. I'll be honest, I totally missed that destroyer being there. I didn't even look that direction for some reason. Okay. Makes a bit more sense. Luckily I am not uh, strapped uh, for damage capabilities. Ooh, even more so if it's just energy resist. I can just axe it to death. this because it does actually work on melee. Bonk. And just stay here. Opportunity range. In death range. Not that it's gonna last uh, this guy. Yeah. That's uh, that destroyer gone. And we'll go. 
folks. Move along our way. Have to go up one, but it seems like we'll be able to we'll be able to minimize this on just a chew awakening. Which works for me. Okay, I can just I can just zoom on to the escape at this point. There's nothing stopping me. Not even my cognition. Because we're not going to do that. And turn. Get over there and then turn. And then it's just my others. Yeah, this, this mission went really well. This battle especially, though. I love I love my new toy on my ranger. It is it is absolutely a game changer. Might have to be careful about not hitting my own people, but it's such a long range and long arc is beautiful. <laughs> is beautiful on that gun. Mission complete. The masses of mummified tangled corpses is a horrific sight. But carries a paradoxical uh, hope uh, with it, as the tech priest finds several intact bionics and minor items of archaeotech among the bodies. Several examples of lost augmentic techniques recovered. Uh, the pharaoh surgeons will make great use of them. Then I allow myself satisfaction and pride that her endeavors were successful. Returning such technologies to the Adeptus Mechanicus is a sacred act, if it brings the galaxy closer to the Omnicide's vision. Also replaces lost limbs, eyes, unwounded Skatari. Return to battle, fight on, and kill and die for the Machine God. Cycle continues. This is as it must be. So it be, so it be. Out unscathed. Well, except for one servitor. We didn't even really use our servitors there. We were just wrecking house with our tech priests. <laughs> we fought a lot of Praetorians and, as usual, a lot of flayed ones. Mission successful. Have a heavy arc rifle. It's such a weird range on that. Gain two awakening, plenty of black stone. 495 mouse clicks, 419 distance traveled, 8 rooms explored, 6 turns played, 55 attacks, 342 damage dealt, 10 damage taken, 0 units lost. Battle time 31 minutes, 21 seconds, and 29 milliseconds. Let's see here, what's their new mission? It is just Blackstone. Interesting. Guard Destroyer, Lich Guard, Cryptic, Praetorian, Vargard. Radic Reclamation, a rare and irreplaceable Castilian robot, has become lost in the tomb of uh, Melob. Quartermaster Rowe has requested Tech Priest's assistance in recovering it. Uh, we'll consider it. Definitely want more unlocks of weapons. And uh, such similar deals. That'll be a new pistol. That one is a deployment mission slot, which oh, good, isn't necessarily required at the moment. Upgraded scanners, too. Take a mortal, which go destroy your death mark. That one's flea one, immortal, destroyer, immortal. Two immortals. And cryptic. Oh, uh, might do this one. It seems to be our trend going into Tomb of Abshu this session. So you're on 18. You're on 18. You're on 17. You're on 18. You're on 17. Okay. Let's upgrade our 17ers. Because that'd be useful. We have that one. We have that. Uh, 
yeah, you know, range is probably a good, it's probably a decent thing. Don't have to go full in on things, but range is range. You can upgrade things in that capacity now. Ooh, actually, yeah, we are actually using an arc rifle, so... If we were to get an upgraded arc rifle, we can actually slot that in now. Okay. Okay. I think I might actually have my plan of action. Because I yeah, forgot I was actually using an arc rifle. It actually did a decent effect. Alright, and you... You, we can upgrade a little bit more. Somewhere along the lines. I just want to gain down killing a target. That might not actually be a bad call. I don't exactly want to fill it up further than that because those start requiring specialized things. But. But yeah, sure. Working them all the way up to getting cognition points on kills is not a bad thing for a warrior. They get plenty of kills. Put on everyone at least 18. That puts everyone at exactly 18. Yeah, okay. Perfect. So who's offering that upgraded arc rifle? What was that on? Or am I imagining things now? You can see. Was that on one of those? No. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Or is that what we just unlocked? I am. I feel like I'm going crazy now. Arc rifle. Okay. <laughs> we literally just upgraded it. I'm just going crazy. Don't mind me. The arc rifle. Comparison to the arc rifle, which is 1 to 8 damage to targets, and then 1 to 2 to chain targets. This is 1 to 12 to target and the one two four to chain targets and honestly it looks ridiculously beefy look at that thing it has a different description too thanks to the new STC fragment discovered on Silva Tenebris the heavy arc rifle no longer requires this a stable weapons platform such as uh, the Cataphron breachers now wielded by the mighty tech priests, there's no telling what destruction awaits the enemies of the machine god. <laughs> Beautiful. That is very beefy. And in conjunction with a goddamn flamethrower, which is also beautiful. Yeah, throw one hand, heavy arc in the other. And then that beefy thing there. Also did pick this up at one point. It's as compared to the damage ones. Um, mobilization versus the 3 to 5 to 2 to 4, so it's definitely less, but that makes sense. It doesn't cost a cognition. But the fact that we are so heavily invested in those speaks of volumes. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this one. Uh, rending the Veil, which was killing enough uh, flayed ones until Scapel is satisfied. And continues our trend of being in, like, what is probably the worst tomb. Of decay. Error. Cognitive duality. Detect construct form designates flayed one. Research illuminating equals true. Yet, fascinate, yet frustrating equals true. Energy reading suggests Flayed One teleportation upon deactivation is anomalous slash non-standard slash different. Different? Then where do they go? Multiple hypotheses stream. One, a pocket dimension. Two, a region of uh, the Imperium p peculiar to Flayed Ones. The three, unknown energy state. Hypotheses prove slash disprove. Engage a large group of construct designate equals 
construct designate a flayed one and observed a discorporations. Your request is taken under advisement, Scavola. It shall be considered against the many other mission priorities. Magos, I cannot help but notice your indulging of tech inquisitors, Scavola. I urge you the strongest caution. For what purpose, Videx? Scavola is a tech priest of Stygius Eight, a notorious nest of tech heretics. Recall the words of the Amarinthine Ad admonitions. If it resembles a heretic, it speaks like a heretic, and if it redolent to the nose, as if like a heretic, then a heretic it will be. That is a very, very, very fancy way of just saying, if it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. <laughs> that is literally, literally a fancy way of just saying that. If it quacks like a duck, if it waddles like a duck, it's a duck. Uh, okay, then, my ducks. Grave accusations, Electric Dogmatus. And not ones I make lightly, but I pray you, Magus, do not trust Scavola. Gath Gathalamorians 97.14 He who aids the blasphemer, even through ignorance, has the blood of the faithful upon his hands. I like Scavola, though. Scavola and Videx, they... they really clash. <laughs> clash. At least there are... At least there's no shortage of flayed ones for your co cohort to, to engage, Magos. My Skitari have fended off so many attacks from those creatures, we are in danger of losing what little control of the tomb we have. Consequence strains uh, follows. Combat engagement uh, minus observation of teleportation process minus uh, tech lore insights uh, minus improved combat effectiveness. Uh, or maybe those are dashes. Yeah. Okay. Consequent stream follows. Combat engagement, dash, uh, observation of teleportation process, dash, uh, tech lore insights, uh, dash, uh, improved combat effectiveness, uh, dash, ultimate victory. As long as that involves killing a lot of them, Scavola, I'm on board for this one. Yeah. Anything that takes pressure off for Skatori is a good thing. Can you plot a mission solution that leads to the highest concentrations of flayed ones? That should not be a problem, Matchos. Just follow the screaming. Oh, good! <laughs> Yay! Follow the screaming! Rending the Veil, deployment number 29. Let's see how our map is laid out. You can go glyph there. And, oh. <laughs> and then just hit up everything. Well, okay, fair enough. I can, in theory, then, in that principle, make up some ground on my awakening. Because, uh, yeah. We've been gaining a fair amount of awakening in this. Ooh, two good ones. Left or right? Right makes money. Hey, Blackstone. Alright, now, into our first mission. And then to the next, and then to the next. And on and on we go. Killing all the flayed ones that we do see. And anything else stand that way, because I'm sure there'll be more. Oh yeah, like that. Oh right, it's been a while since I've seen the crypt tech. That's, um... I think that's the support one. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the support one. I need a dead. <laughs> In other words. Uh, you go there. And you go uh, here. Sure, you are. Actually, you go there because you are the other one who will be going full on board. Uh, either go there, and then you go. Oh, you just stand in that face and get ready to smack. Yeah, that sounds fine. There's no consoles here, so just go all in. Grab this cognition manually. Huzzah! All right. What do you guys? Oh. <laughs> uh, 
uh, say hello to someone who does not have any armor at the moment. And how unfortunate this is going to be for them. And it is not going to go in their favor. That one, though, is, uh, that one, though, is durable. And boop. Let's get your cognition. And then poke. Also, I forgot to use its ability, so I would get free for that one. Whoopsie. Oh, well. Oh, there, I'm going to be in your face. Hello, I'm your designated stand in your face. I might as well. <laughs> oh man, that power crit of two. Amazing. Amazing. I'm gonna shuffle over here. That takes over. It is your turn without a single bit of cognition. That is not ideal. But that's fine. It's turn. Ah, here we go. Clean crew time. And boop. And a boop. And all is right in the world. Your turn to give me some cognition. For my ranger coming up. Boop. And a boop. And I can just go with that. Huzzah. people. You deserve it. <laughs> See, my ranger knows what's up. Just crit it to death, and no threat remaining. Do not let this go another turn. Empyrean readings processing. Further illumination confirmed. Hypothesis confirmation process. Further observation of subresonances of... Widdershins phase waves required. Widdershins? Widdershins phase waves? Huh. Explorations? Check surrounding chambers for more flayed ones lying in wait. Invocation? Cleanse the corruption of this place with incessant prayer. Observation? Search the site of the firefight for components that might have evaded teleportation. Eh, that seems 
proper for what we're tasked for, which means it's so gonna backfire in my face, but hey! No, God. Thoroughly searching the chamber exposes the cohort to the strange radiations of the Flayed One's discorporation, accompanied by hallucinary flashes. Seem to show a heaving landscape of skinned bodies glistening beneath the light of alien stars. The visions fade when the cohort moves on. Well, awakening plus four, but it's science? Science, yes. <laughs> the name of science. And action necromancy battle. Uh, fortunate on the awakening part. That's like one of the highest awakening deals I've gotten increase wise. We've got a Praetorian right there. A Praetorian that's going a bit deep in the turn order. With my warrior's going first. Yeah, let's uh let's capitalize on that. Uh you go here. Let's see here, where's my healer? There you are. You go there. Ranger shall go here, and you shall go. Wait, that was my ranger I clicked. Oops. Uh, there and that. Yeah, sure, that looks good enough. Anyway, it's time for me to smack a Praetorian in the face. Uh, to no surprise, it actually has some physical armor. I usually seem to have a mix, so definitely not a wholly surprising to me. But it is fine. 11 to 13, 9 to 11. It will have to do. It did do. It did do very well. Yes. Well, okay then. That's a Praetorian dealt with. Let's get it from up here. Can we poke its head from up here? Yes, we can, hilariously enough. And a poke. And a poke. Oh, I can zoom around there, it counts, but I don't exactly want to do that. In fact, I'm going to use cognition to get back in formation because that'll put them in shield range, which I will be very much doing, as we have a bunch of immortals across the board. The which shield. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, there's only ones of things about, so... I don't like that. Go here. We can start shooting those things. I need one stone shield range. Excellent. My ranger's the next up in line. This will work in our favor. In turn, get an auto repair. Ah, it's like the furthest from the one in line. Perfect. Right now, do we want to use our laser first or our heavy phosphor blaster first? Ah, so many choices. So many choices. That. that one wouldn't hit up many extra. We'll go with big laser first. And all of them are still alive. 
Let us correct this matter. We can't be happy with that, now can we? No, no, of course not. <laughs> oh, and two criticals. Excellent. That... That was a good shot. And now we'll just chill there. There's immortal number one. They can get a shot. Our shield will absorb it. Immortal number two will definitely get a shot. It doesn't even need to move. Ah, and it's with that one. Not that it does it much good. Uh, okay, who's... Ah, right next to her. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Machine God, the whole game in a deed. We'll cap that one off. There seems a combination that away. Go up here and give it a good old whack. Which works out in our favor. Now we can get some cognition points from it. Tap it off. Go back in the safety of the bubble. And shoot that immortal. <laughs> because we can. Bonk. Then grab a cognition from that. And perfect. Then we have you. We do indeed have you. Well, AoEs, uh, things. Not really anybody in particularly good formation. We'll work around it. First off, find a spot to target things. Do we want the fur one or do we want this one? We'll um see what this is. Then we shall go over to this flayed one's face. Cognition. Axe. It's probably not dead, but Ooh, it is dead. Well, uh hell's yeah. And I uh, guess I just head back. Bye. For you, for your generous donation. And new round go. We do not need any servitors. We have. You can go all the way over here. Sure. Let's see what this one has. It has. A lot of armors. Oh, is the answer. Twelve. Right, might as well use a canticle on this one. It's cognition. And X. Down they go. And now, super down they go. I am mortal. I hold no regrets. Alright, use some extra cognition to just get into this thing's face. Okay, yeah, grab that as well. Yep, excellent. I won't do anything, so, uh, yeah. Just be here, annoying it. Tradition demands. Zap! For a good solid 9 damage. Ooh, let's kill it. Ah! Close. That one goes. Ah! It's your turn. Uh, 
That doesn't get me much. That, however, gets me plenty. Then we get out of the good way of cognition and no threats remaining. I'll still be in one territory. It'll tick over to two once we go to the next battlefield, but that's fine. Situation analysis in progress. Analysis complete. Recommendation follows. Leave. The cohorts uh, os osfexes and rad sniffers observe exotic radiation in the chamber, but little that is of value. However, remaining in this chamber causes the cohort to suffer fleeting hallucinations of a desolate realm choked with corpses beneath a burning black sky. Hmm, that's the second time we've seen something similar to that. Doesn't sound good, but um, we're getting ideas of where they go, and it is an unpleasant place, if it feels like. A very unpleasant uh, place. Let's see what the last battlefield has in store for us. Ah, hello there, Necron Lord. We have run into another Necron Lord. That's what's waiting for us. Good? Not good. Uh, ooh, so many consoles, though. One, two, three, four. Just sitting in this area. Five, six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. Why are there so many consoles around? <laughs> Not that I should be questioning it, but oh dear gods, there's so many consoles. Um, well, might be a Necron Lord, but there's good stuff waiting for us here. Which means, which means we do not want to kill everything here. But that's fine. Slayed ones we can kind of dance around a bit. Uh, yeah, that's a fine spot for you. It's for you. We'll be going on that turn, so we might as well have you tackle that direction. Let's see. There's my healer there. There's my cognition So many these servitors yet, but we will be going on a tour de force of these consoles for uh, obvious reasons. There's so many of them. <laughs> we will be getting so much blackstone from this. So much blackstone. I'm forgetting to pop these first because they do add to my move speed. Oh well. We'll handle these constantly in a moment, but I definitely want this thing. Just no support. <laughs> no support allowed. See? No support allowed. My worry agrees with me on this. Let us succumb to its demise. There. And a poke. And a poke. And then we'll walk and scan the other one in preparation to it. Not that one. Oh, there's an immortal right there. Hello, immortal. <laughs> Guarding that one, I see. Do we have. Ah. Well, um, I guess that's our trade-off. We have no cognition scan points that I can see. That is, uh, interesting. Well, um, reveal the stats on our Necron Lord. What are we working with here? 32 health, 3 energy resistance. And that... Uh, ah, that is dead bodies of flames. Ah, there's another one right there. Uh, let's not worry about that. All the torn up skin and stuff up. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
wonder if that one can actually reach me from here. Hmm. I think it might be able to. I'm gonna walk back, actually. Just to play it safe. They're walking forward. Not so menacingly, but they're walking forward. I'll just have to whack it. <laughs> whack it to get by. That's that's acceptable. First we get a cognition point. There we go. Give it the axe. Ah, crit, excellent. Cognition cost on this. And while we could get all of those, well, I don't want to kill that other thing because we haven't scanned it. Blip. Go here. Grab that cognition. Poke it to death. for free. And give us more of that, which I will then proceed to bend one of them on the uh, skin back. Then I shoot it in the face. The face being a relative term because it's well a machine. Well, it's a console. But yeah. Well, do we move? Eh, not quite. It's fine. Probably. Oh, it tried to move past me. The fool. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we've got in store for here. We have all of these things. Let's see, not much incentive to use our ranger on them. A ranger is such a powerhouse, it's... Like we don't want to overdo things. I'm not afraid to move this one forward. The medic has some oomph to them. Oh wow, look at all those grits. All of them. So, move forward. Some more cognition. Ah, that's two. That's two left over. Oh, I'll give it a little poke. And a poke out of uh, Curtis. Uh, sure, sure, something like that. This is solid black because we have collected from it. Reveal stats, reveal stats. This is a more meaningful one, but. Alright, 7 2 energy armor. And it's gonna get its turn soon. Use one of our cognitions. I find honestly actually we can go all the way this way. Do -do 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 -do. Cognition potential there. We have a gun there. Ah, 
let's see where we can get going. Just by that. Oh well, that really does have a solid range to it. It's like, if we shoot that thing, we can shoot all of them. Not that that has a good potential to do damage, but... It's honestly not a bad outcome. Icrid on him. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Over here. Scan that. <laughs> and then flamethrower everything. Except that doesn't seem to be reaching that. Hold up. Had to be equal opportunist flamethrower. Luckily, I know how to fix my cognition issues. By poking a thing. That's a better angle for hitting everything. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh god, I crit that one with the flamethrower. Ah, oh, I love it. Back over here. Get that one a smack. to Necron Awakening. After all that, we still have not tackled all the scan things. There are so many scan things. It is insane. And I love it. It's like the game is trying to make up for every single scan thing I have yet to, yet to run into in every other mission on this one. Alright, energy armor. Not wholly surprised there. Apparently, their road to us is blocked uh, by oh, corpses. Oh, right. It prepared an enemy. Oh, interesting. That was different. I was not expecting that. You know, just a full on repair. See what we can do here. It has six damage. We actually do have the means of getting rid of this. So we immediately might as well nail this to death on our ranger. Yeah, this happened. You 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 shoot. We're gone now. Approach it like this. Crumb Lord is still effectively in its place. That is. Alright. Might as well. Start off with this. I have not looted it. And perfect. Well, almost perfect. Now it will be perfect. <laughs> yep. Destruction is indeed the destiny of the Xenos. And now get all the way back here. Do do do. Huh. I just realized that um that Flayed one is apparently after our ranger here. Eh, with a bit of thunk. I need to destroy that journal. You be gone. 
this terminal will be super gone. Because of how things are positioned, I know exactly what I want to do. <laughs> AKA, this thing is going to try to make its way, over, way past us. Or maybe not anymore, but... Yeah, okay, I grabbed its attention, effectively. You know, that's acceptable as well. That I can live with. Let's gain the cup mission. I need this thing dead. Be gone. And now start slowly making their way through. It's plus one carbon mission there. We shall get even more cognition. Uh, for one, uh, for three. That's like the only place we can get cognition is there. Then we'll tap that one out of existence. still have effectively four terminals laying about. They're all over there. I definitely need to save up what cognition I have because we're gonna need to skirt around the Necron for for it. Don't necessarily need to destroy them at the moment, but I do want to scan them for the Blackstone. Because that's gonna be vastly important. We shall do that next turn with our warrior, because honestly our warrior is best suited for just... Zoom. <laughs> to effectively put it. What are you doing? I'm trying to repair things some more. That is exactly what they are trying to do. quite yet. Yeah, um, I just don't want to bother with that. We have a mission. Mission to scan everything. There are four things for us to scan. So we are on we are on quite the mission here. Stone. Like I said, we don't need necessarily need to destroy them at the moment for reasons that we're already at zero awake level. That is very acceptable. This is well worth the cost of the mission. Well, well worth it. Look at how our black stone is sitting right now. It is gonna facilitate some upgrades. That's for sure. And now to finish off our tour, we have this fine fellow. This fine fellow who I'm gonna beat up while they're in a corner. Ah, a nine crit. Excellent. This thing will not be living. This <laughs> suit. Because it will be taking its turn to try to get away from it. Really now? Really now? That's where you decide to scurry to? The ledge like, hey wait, come back. Alright, um, we'll get this one to meet up. Because I effectively need to consolidate everyone. So very, very soon. Alright, that will do it. Gives you another cognition, which is fine, because that should get me... Actually, I can effectively already run the room. Run the room like 
that. You shall go here. Ah, Necrom Lord's probably gonna heal. Yeah. Will it help him? No, it will not. <laughs> the heal did not help them. Ah, we have new friends. New friends that decide to show up. I like new friends. We need to get to... Yeah, we need to get to that Necron Lord. That is 100% for certain. We need to engage that thing now. from here. Then hope we can mostly charge it. Get on a minus one, why would we minus two? The answer, we wouldn't. So, hello. I am here. I want a solitary person. I guess we could have done this. We should have done this. Keep on forgetting my order of operations. For now. Donk. Nice. that in our turn that one will try to zoom up to us uh, it's like this cognition but honestly I yeah delay turn as much as it might be a bad idea I want my cognition expert to be to get us in line yeah you But, since we do have our options here, go here, fully replenish. Which one I am worried about, but nothing we can do about that. Cognition gauge. Six health. Six. Just because I want to use the flamethrower. Fishing compared to just uh, shooting it? Nah. Fun? Hells yeah. <laughs> Purge the Xenos with righteous flame. Alright, that Praetorian is going to jump. Who the fuck knows right Ah, you've decided to go here. Okay. Ow. Rude. Although you will soon be meeting your maker. Maker being the maker of the zap. Because I can't go for free. Ah, don't mind if I do. In just a moment. First things first. Up to you. Be a minus one. 
Select one color of the mission. Give it the axe. Give it the poke. Honestly, we'll be going any closer, but I guess we can. And then we will be doing a uh, can't go for free. Do that, and it will prep us for a ranger to do their rangery things. Speaking of which, hello, ranger. Time to do your um, rangery things. of course. That leaves us with just the lava left. Do, 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 do. Uh, I give you a distant prayer. Honestly, it would have been easier if the Praetorian had actually come up into close range, but oh well. No. No dealing with that now. We do what we do. And that involves just dropping this one down here too, because why the hell not? It's about to be dead. I said you are about to be dead. That's why I could work with it. <laughs> no threat remaining. I'm getting really good at handling those next moves. Mission complete. The final pack of flayed ones discorporates beneath the cohort's assault. Their readings continue to provide strange and contradictory results. Wherever the flayed ones teleport to, it is not to the alternate dimension of the warp, but to somewhere else entirely. Hypothesis disproval. Flayed one destination or reality equals false. Immaterium equals false. I return bafflement and curiosity at these conclusions. The Necrons have no end of strange depths to be plumbed. Addendum personal observations. Nachos Dominus Faustinius. Faustinius. One clear dedication to knowledge. Two. Willingness to gather intelligence on Xenos. Three, minimal adherence to obstructive dogma. Magus Faustinius equals ally to my kind. Your kind. Linguistic normaliz normalization protocols enacted. I'm not on this mission by chance. My allies ensured I was sent here. Beneath a silver tenebris lies more than just a legion of necrons. It is time to bring you into my confidence, Magos Faustinius. I'm going to be in both their uh, confidences now, on two very different sides of the board, it feels like. A little damage, that's fine, because this is a zero awakening mission, which means this is just free benefits across the board. Ooh, those cryptics really tally up. Oh, 
my god, so much. So much profit. We've gotten all the black stone. We have this arc pistol. I'm not sure if I'll use this or not, but I'll keep it in mind because it is a free shot pistol. Zero awakening. So much black stone. So much black stone. Mouse clicks, 593. Distance traveled, 669. Nice. Five rooms explored, eight turns played, 72 attacks, 432 damage dealt, 11 damage taken, zero units lost. Battle time, 41 minutes, 53 seconds, 823 milliseconds. Pretty good. Pretty good. Our tech is looking now like this for our weapons collected. We've got a fair bit of the weapons here in kind of this area. There's probably still more than we can find. There's like all these melee stuff and there might be more around here. Or at least along this avenue. Potentially anyways. Skivora has still has this mission, which I'm tempted to also do because, yeah, mission deployment slots, scanner upgrades, we can use both. That one has... That one has heavy grav cannon. Even more weird selection. This one actually seems straightforward. I might do one of hers. I haven't done one of her missions yet. We'll be doing these at some point. And we might even do one tonight. We'll see. We will see. For now, I think everyone is rank 18 at the moment. Yes, yes, yes. So, who can benefit from things? I have stuff to work with. Uh, you getting to avoid all opportunity attacks we would be beneficial. I can't upgrade anything at the moment. We benefit from too much, although I can get you that, which we were looking towards. You, I, there are things I can upgrade on you. I can get a better pokey stick. So for what I'd upgrade you towards, well, that's a fair question. Could have their server's skull deal one damage, two attacks. Not necessarily anything wrong with that. They're not exactly getting kills, so. Oh, uh, yeah. That is an idea. No, I'll actually act up on that one. Get up towards that. We will give you a slightly better. Poke deal, that is now more a saw deal. What else? We have plenty of plenty of deals to work with. Uh if we upgrade you further, we would be working we would be getting potentially getting better scanners soon, so not a bad idea there. I think Having someone else doing distant prayers wouldn't be a bad call. So, I might actually work up towards that. Leave room for you to get more stuff. You, I would get a better weapon in that slot, potentially. Or a better pokey. Yeah, you can't go wrong with better pokies. And being able to escape to it. Cognition or the poke, though. Actually, that's the question. I don't realize that was not good. We'll get better cognition because more cognition never goes amiss. Well, keep them with the poke, though. The poke it does not go amiss. As for my ranger, we shall upgrade you again to work on getting closer to that. Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. Right then. That is 
far as we can upgrade people. For potential things I'm working towards, there's a plenty. If we look at here... Yeah, we're still awakening progress in these two areas. So we still need to find those two bosses. There's a boss in there. Zero, three, three, zero, zero. There are zeros stacked on top of zeros, and that is a good thing. One, one, zero, zero, zeros. Yeah, we were doing pretty good management-wise on our remaining normal ones. Then we got a couple threes, but that zero helped balance things out. Two, one, two, three, yeah. We've been steadily getting better, like, early on we were- I was exploring a lot more, not realizing that it's really not exactly fully worth to fully, fully explore. So there's some fours and fives it, towards the beginning that are unfortunate in retrospect, but... Discovery of Silva Tenebris? More awaits us. Silva Tenebris must burn, we must not linger. As for what to do next. Is that just scanners? Yeah, we'll get scanners and deployment missions. Let's see, that's Deathmark, Destroyer, Leech Card, Immortal, Cryptic, Praetorian. Nothing we shouldn't be able to handle. <coughs> Upon the threshold, Tech Inquisitor Scavola is a Xenorite, a faction that believes in using the weapons of the alien foe against them. She wants to access the Library of Melob, which first requires the examination of a Tesseract lock to find out how to open the lock sealing the, the library. Look at a scanner, which will actually make the scanners useful to use. I've kind of not been using them at this point because the extraction's the same either way. But instead of extracting one from it, a dead enemy, I could extract two from it. So that'll help things. Gain one additional slot. Hey, we're out of Flayed One territory for the moment. Andrew! Hello! Hello! How are you doing, Andrew? I think this was an off day for you, but you might have been playing Rise or something like that with folks, so. You bring exciting news related to Monster Hunter. All right, go on. I am, I am listening. Or, well, I guess I'm reading. Same difference. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you, Muna, got a double counter on the advanced foul strikes. Well done. Well done. I am. Not wholly surprised, Moon as well, Moon, and you—you you have very much been practicing on uh, on that uh, on that counter on Volstrox. So, so, oh, well done. I'm glad all your practice on that has paid off well. That is good. That is good. Well done. Also, being alive is good too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have. I've I've no I've I've been noticing that in your streams. You've been. You've been tossing yourself at that fall strikes quite a bit. Uh, it's 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 been treat it's been treating Warhammer's been treating me well. I I I I enjoy this game a lot, really. I enjoy this game a fair bit. As well, as long as people enjoy watching it, that is good. Because I still. Still 100% working, uh, working on that, uh, on that average viewer count. So, I will be, I'll be streaming. I'll be very much uh, being consistent on my streams uh, for, for like these next couple weeks or so. It's like I have to do it. And weirdly, these late hours work because when views transfer until other day, it counts as a number instead of zero. So, hey, I've I found my strategy. Now I hope people are just interested enough to watch what I'm doing. And I at least find this a very fun and interesting game. I enjoy it at least. Rocking music too. Very good music. Ran into... 
you, you know that beat that you said was pretty good, that musical key when we found a Necron Lord. I've run into a couple more of those Necron Lords, and that music continues to be very, very awesome music. It very much does. That thunder outside, or just something knocking around? Uh, it'll be fine. Ah, damn it. Um, I did not actually read what was on the other one, but oh well. Guess I want to talk. True enough. You can see how the enemy's technology could be employed against them, though I'm still cautious about the concept. What have you found? Classified intelligence. Re artifact recovered from tomb of Agrolech. Purpose. Map of the tomb complex. Critical information follows. It indicates the location of the library of Melob. Melob? Our intelligence suggests he was the Grand Visor to the Necron Court, and a cryptic guardian of esoteric technology. It becomes apparent why the Xenorites would want access to his library. Library protected by four Tesseract Locks. Phase 1, Examine Lock Example. Intelligence Report, Partially Constructed Example Located. Phase 2, Open Locks. Phase 3, Achieve Enlightenment. Go to Phase 1. Yeah, this very much continues to be a very fun game to do. And... <laughs> and a chill game. And I know, yeah, tacticals are more exercise of the brain and whatnot, but I consider that a lot chiller. Especially what's coming to, to on Saturday. Um, my my plans for Saturday, I've shifted my Chrono Cross day to Tuesday and Saturdays. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna start doing Doom 2016. That's um that's gonna be interesting. I think it was thunder because the dog is upset at uh, thunder noises. Clearly. Skatari scouts have confirmed the lock's location. They have steered clear of it since no one's been sure up to now what it is. Any other intel you'd like to share with us, Majos? Response formulation. Calculating. Response complete. No. <laughs> Alright, fair enough, Skivola. The sample lock is partially constructed. Examination will permit the next stage of the operation to commence. This is the deployed cohort's objective, Subdomina. Then my Skatari will back them up. I just hope, Matches, whatever door you're trying to open has something worthwhile beyond. All right, dog. <laughs> he, of course, likes to come down here when the thunder happens. Because here's the basement, and even the dog feels safer <laughs> under a, in the basement. <laughs> Humorously enough. Uh, rounds? Okay, that works. Do, 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 do. Also, hey, it's back home to... it's nice to be back home for a bit. Finished my first set, set of house sitting. My next set of house sitting, which is will start in like a couple days or so, is at least still in the same building. I'll be moved into the same... Lo moved into a different location, but at least it's the same home. So, not too far of a travel I need to do with... there. It's literally just up a staircase. Uh, console, console, destroyer. Cryptic, Immortal, Praetorian, Immortal. So we have console there, console there to knock things down. And evil afoot everywhere else. Immortal. We need the cryptic dead, we also need the destroyer dead. They're gonna shoot off that way. I need you in defensive formation, that's right. There. There? Yeah. And you 
are in a fine enough spot there. And we get way the worse the destroyer. Oh good, it didn't get a shot off. That one got a shot off though. Turn on my ranger. Uh, oh, Pff. oops! <laughs> accidentally end turn, do not delay turn. That is my bad. You, know, you could accidentally do that. Uh, oops. Oh well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you know what? Just. You delay turn, you delay turn. You, however, get the shield. Because we want shields. Unless you can over the you, but. Can you grab two cognition from there? Actually, yeah, can do that. Yeah, that doesn't work. Not on the second. They have gone through the shield. Alright, only three damage. That I can deal with. One moment. does not like when it, the thunder noises happen, clearly, and unsurprisingly. Uh, dogs be dogs. Anyways, I have a flamethrower. I will use said flamethrower. Uh, actually, I want to be a little bit closer. Yeah, now my think though reaches everything. Cognition spots room to pick up? Yes, there is. Cool. Meryl. I have my heavy arc rifle. Doesn't do much here. That would uh, be a bad thing to do there. That, however, yeah, that's better. Ah, uh, yeah, the other thing I like with how far I've been getting to this game so far. Oh dear God, these later game weapons are amazing and making you feel very, very powerful, and I approve wholeheartedly. I have some really fun weapons at the moment. <laughs> Engage. I do not need to, however. Uh, yeah. We go straight for this one. Ah, of course. that and 
Kablam. Go here, and any opportunity attack should absolutely work. Now, as for you... Well, start shooting. Bonk. Ah, perfect. He's dead. Go up here. Have cognition. Have cognition. I can fairly say I can. Okay, that one. Then we go up to you. Oh wow, you actually have armor. Rare I get a cryptic that has armor. But this one has actually a significant amount of it. And we'll just overkill repair ourselves. Sure. New turn. Do you want any of these servitors? Not really. Not the moment. Opportunity. That thing's down. Uh, oh. You can do that. How unfortunate. I, um, I should have finished that thing off, thing, clearly. Thought you could run, but I still have a flamethrower. Reflect all cognitions. Reflect that one from there. Alright. Well, that one got revived. Let it not be said it was for long. <laughs> Let it not be said it was for long. Indeed. Here. More cognition. Make them regret everything. And then we'll just actually we'll place ourselves right up next to that. Perfect. As for you, uh, can you reach that? Ah, uh, well enough. Do 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 that, and then give it a solid. Xenos indeed. Uh, that is actually blocked by the ship. Okay. Which means they're also blocked from that. Which works for me. Side. Fair for the shield dropping. Which I mean will hopefully drop. I know my ranger will be on their own side, but I think we can still manage. Ah. This is some um, interesting conundrum here. We're just full on shielded in. Oh, uh, well, okay then. Alright then, game. I know 
what to do, but... <laughs> I guess we um, wait for it to let us in. Let us in. Yeah, no, we're just waiting. Okay, then, fair enough. Here for us to be able to get through. Go there. I really hope the shield drops this next turn. Because otherwise, I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> and just enter there. Oh, cool. They both dropped. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Drop uh, one servitor there. Yeah, no, don't want to use that one. But that would be bad right in this situation. Or at least incredibly awkward. Ooh, nice crit. So lucky there. Well done, Servitor. Well done. I am I'm glad for your survival, Servitor. No. I did not want it to survive that just to die to this. So um no collateral, please. resistance as it be fun. This game don't accidentally kill our own servitor. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And Phil Cogna should be sure. Speaking of which, console, come to me. Uh, after I get the angle, that will let me. There we go. Neural. And poke. And for the double poke. Alright, let's see what this thing has in store for health. Not a whole lot left, actually. Might as well go full on it. That I mean, so much overkill. Bonk. Alright, Andrew, I very, very much appreciate the lurking, and I hope you have a good night. And, and congrats, and congrats again on your, uh, on your, uh, double, double counter with Muna. 
well done once more on that. Threat remaining. Excellent. Commence fascination. Necron self aggr aggrandizement equals opportunity. An ornate chamber ahead is lavishly decorated with images of lordly Necrons representing the many members of an ancient dynasty. Melab's image is chief among them, depicted standing beside a mighty throne in his role as visor. Again, investigate, examine the images in detail in case they can steal some useful secrets. Take vengeance, destroy the images, and strike a symbolic blow against the whole Necron dynasty. Record. Thoroughly catalog the images in the hope that they can help learn of the various Necrom lords interned on Silva Tenris. I mean, that seems reasonable to me, which means it'll totally backfire on me. It seems reasonable to me. Picked grabs to document the images, which are duly uploaded to the cogitors on board the Castius Metallican. However, some strange form of feedback causes severe data corruption. The cogners must be quarantined in case of infection. The cohort must purge their internal data stacks, a painful and discombulating process. Well, that was worth it just to just have the word discombulating. <laughs> Not often you run into that word, discombulating. But, well, um, <laughs> Mechanicus has given me a full spectrum of different words to have to deal with. Ooh, green. That doesn't benefit us, but it didn't negatively impact us. Next room over. Our presence has been detected. That is fine for hitting up the second room. Let's see what we have here. Ah, uh, this is such a fun game to play. <laughs> Although, why it isn't loading at the moment concerns me. Um, gonna wait a moment. It might have crashed, it might have not. If so, it's at least only the game and nothing else. Hopefully. Uh, everything else is working, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, everything else is working. Don't hear sound, so that's why I'm giving it a moment, but... Might just reboot it really quickly. Uh... Uno momento, as I get the game back up and running, because it... Huh. Haven't had it do that, but we'll be back up in short enough order. Yep, yes we shall. One Steam cooperates. Uh, technical difficulties, the life of playing games. On a stream. Don't worry. It'll be fine. We'll be back in short order. Again, once it cooperates. Uh, Steam. Hello. Do you want to recognize? Okay. We're launching. We're launching. After it synchronizes Steam Cloud, I guess. Okay.
First time I've had this, this game do this, which is which surprises me because this game has actually been pretty, pretty sturdy. But oh well, things always happen. It's fine. Back in a moment, but while I'm waiting for this to load again, I hope everyone who's watching is doing well this fine evening. It's it's been a good, nice, relaxing day for me, so. I hope it has been such for everyone, everyone who's chilling about here, and I hope this, I hope it, this is helping out just keep, keep folks chilled and the like, because it is, is a pleasant, pleasant game. For a pleasant, pleasant evening. Even if it did just crash on me, I don't know why I did that. It happens. It happens. But now I just have to wait. All right, all right. We're on a black screen. I'm always not 100% sure what to do when I have to just talk blindly into the void as I wait for a void of a game to reload. It's inter It's been an interesting experiment to consider with streaming of, like, how to fill in the gaps when gaps happen. And technical From difficulties is definitely a sort. As you can... S well, as you could probably hear... Um, let's continue and hope uh, OBS catches up. The game is back up and such. OBS, however, um, yes, um, OBS, hi, do you want to do your job? <laughs> It's, um, one thing or another. Also, I've lost a bit of... Okay, cool. We're back. Um, I have a bit of fight to redo, apparently. Unfortunately. But we just... Yeah. Eh, get back through it in quick order. It's not too bad. I think it's just effectively my final-ish turns. You folks be gone. I've already beaten you all, so, um... Excuse me as I effectively have to get back to where I was, but all should be fine. And I'll um, make sure to save on the screen this next time. Make sure things are good and cooperative. Up here, since I know the whole gate shenanigans are gonna happen. There. Gain a cognition like that. I think it was you I had doing this. Yeah, because I could fill up the gauge again. Alright. We shall be back to where we were in quick enough order. Back cognition. Murder the console. Yes, yes, murder uh, it. And Nyrum into here. You can just go back up here, I guess. I think we needed to, yeah, poke finish this off, then we were clear on this side of the board. Yep, perfect. Now that I'm not afraid of these walls, they're just a time consumer. Up and about, and through and through. 
At least we have everybody, including my ranger, on this side. However, what my ranger about here ish for the moment? Their turn. Everyone just stares awkwardly at the other side of the wall. As is tradition. what I was going for. We have a servitor, like, right behind you. That'd be amusing. I'll stash you right there. <laughs> no, that just gives me struck by all the opportunities. That option, we're not gonna go for that option. This is incredibly rude to our servitor. Okay, we gave up that one back there. strike. And... A bit more forgiving than the last time that happened. We'll have you go here. Oh, right. Keep on forgetting which weapon I have on them. Hold up. Zap. Then whoosh. And then go back up into its face. Power of cognition. It's kinda of awkward having to redo this, but oh well. Say la vie and all that. Say la vie. And grab that much. Mm. Me, that was not too. Zap. Oh, hey, it's down. No, oh, hey, it's down. I need to be careful about that. I still want to grab that console like I did last time. Okay, it has its turn. Later. Take cognition from this, and then... Proceed. Can at least finish this guy off. Oop. And now I have a clean shot. To through the console. Blackstone I had from last time. And the reduction in waking I had also from last time. Through the mission we had already just been. No threat remaining. I have effectively done what I did before. 
commence fascination. Necron self aggrandizement equals opportunity. Uh. Oh right, this one again. Yeah, sure. Time taken to inspect the images reveals several hidden projectors designed to bathe the chamber in radiation. Ah, joy. Once these are disabled, the images can be dismantled to remove their decorative and valuable metallic elements. The time taken seems worth it. Plus plus initiative and more blackstone. Go over here. Then before I before I just delve into that. Oh hey! I server to God healed up. I shall save just so I don't have that happen again. Because um, I don't want to have to go through that same mission again, and again, and again. Yeah, no one wants that. Presence has been detected. Let's hope this mission loads up proper this time. Because that would be ideal. Okay, good. All's good. Everything's fine. Everything's going first. That's not a huge deal. Let's see here. A Cryptek, a Lich Guard, a Deathmark, a Lich Guard, and Immortal. Any consoles? Not that I can see. Right there. You go right there. You there. You there. Ranger there? There's fine. Were you? You're my healer. Okay, that's not a bad spot. Start battle. Everyone will do their turns first. Look at that death mark. Hello, death mark. You're on Overwatch. Well, okay then. Cryptic just shot us. Immensely rude of it. That immortal goes. I think Scar is probably gonna be able to do something. Yep. Although it's facing my my warrior, so that's helpful. <laughs> and it won't do much to that one, but it will do us favors on that one specifically. We go for it. I am glad to have uh, tried out this heavy phosphor burn blaster. It is worth it. Bonk. <laughs> All right, so I can. That or five damage there, or just overkill finish this one off. I'm just gonna overkill finish this one off. Yeah, overkill. <laughs> uh, we do not want to poke that thing because it'll, well, it'll strike back at us. Can't exactly get out either, so. Honestly, let's get this guy's stats. Hello, what are your stats? Ah, okay. No, that is not for the physical. Usually, we are gonna delay turn there. Grab a cognition point. Then two more cognition points. And then we finish it off. Poke. Power of poke compels it. Then can I get in range of anything here? 
well, if I do that, I can do that, so, um, <laughs> well, we might as well. Do, do, do. Hello, I'm here now. Now time for the zap. Ooh, nice crit. Nice crit there. Now it walks a bit closer. Oh wait, I just realized subconsciously we did have a console. I do not know what I was thinking there. Yes, we do indeed have a console. Oh, but okay, I feel better now. It be, it's because it's effectively invisible for some reason. Why? That's the way it is. <laughs> Weird. Just grab that cognition. Oh, then I can do that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Definitely do it this way. Praise be to the Omnicide. We're shielded and can auto repair. And now we very, very, very much need this chunk. That's 11 to 13. Ah. I don't know. Fine. We're gonna use this. We need it dead because we know it can strike back at us if we don't. Use that and uh, be gone. That creature. And be gone, foul creature. Yeah, foul creature is be gone. And now go over here. It's adventure time into the shield. And a nice another auto repair there. Where do you have there we go? There we have our damage zone. Don't expect to get two twos, but hey, you never know. And... Well, okay then. Technically, I was getting a two and a one. It just happened to be my one got the crit. So, uh, I'll take it. Get that cognition from there. Then I can do a distant prayer on... Let everyone stop off. Yeah, yeah. Now it's my cognition expert's turn. Shielded. Where can I get an anchor on them? Apparently, literally nowhere. Well, delay turn for now, then. My people still have a damage shield on them, so that shouldn't be an issue. And it should get it to walk it through, is the more important thing. Damage absorbed, damage absorbed. Most importantly, though, <laughs> that. 
the fact that it wants to just walk a rough shit through consequences and be damned. And now we can doofully kill it off. Boop. <laughs> and get another crit. Very, very, very much kill off. No threat remaining. Excellent. This steep in the tomb of Melob, an archway leads it towards the Tesseract Lock. An energy field shimmers across the archway, suggesting a force field or something more dangerous. The way ahead uh, passes through here. Sacrifice, send one of the cohort through the archway to ascertain its effect. Oh jeez. Sabotage, try to deactivate whatever mechanism is creating the energy field. Blast. <laughs> Blast a hole in the wall beside the archway to make another way through. <laughs> that is... Like, that seems like a clever way to try to do things. That just seems funny. Like, uh, well, new door. Blam. I don't care if it... Duh, duh, okay. An explosive charge rips a hole in the wall, creating a second doorway untroubled by Necron technology. The cohort eagerly takes advantage of this alteration to the tomb's architecture, and make excellent progress as a result. <laughs> Minus Necron initiative. There we go. Uh, let a lesson to all. If you, if the way forward seems suspicious, um, make your own way through. Easy. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. First way seems troubled. Make your own door. All right, let's hit up our last mission. If there's any terminals. Yep, there is, because we are on a scanner destroy. Had to scanner destroy those. They are. Oh, wow. Um. Uh, uh, hello, every single other t scan terminal deal. One, two, three, four, five, six in total. Jeez, what are these missions with having, like, all the terminals at the end? As far as initial composition we only have a cryptic and an immortal huh well okay then uh, let's see here how do I want to approach this we're get kind of over there the ranger who is going first um, here here my healer can go kind of in the center. You go there, you yeah, or do I want uh hmm. This this will do for now. I don't want to accidentally kill everything here for obvious reasons. But I can go off this way, poke this twice after scanning it, and then I don't have to worry about this side of the board. Seems like a solid plan to me. To Necron Awakening. Perfect. Let's get her on over here. Super gonna grab that. Then this should get me in range for at least to be able to laser. If not more. 
least kill this cryptic. That's one less thing to worry about. Well, the cryptic's dead. Uh, oh, hey, look, I can target that. Alright, 13 left after 7 damage, 2 energy. Okay. Cognition, and you are indeed my cognition person. So, we can work with this. Don't want to scan both of them, just because I think it's only these two ones that apply to it. I don't want to go full hog on matters quite yet. But... Can do that. Minus two more awakening. Grab that. And then continue my way over here. Because if there's anyone gonna be used cognition on, it's gonna be, well, the person who needs cognition. Or rather is gonna be using it. 124, like that. I don't necessarily need to destroy things, but there's no harm in doing such either. You guys well overkill this one. Then I can go right. Fill cognition gauge. This last thing. I do not need to worry about destroying it. If I go in here, I have a free realm. It's not guaranteed to be a whole lot of damage, but. Or they'll crit for nine. And then, yes, that will be quite a bit of damage. Fair enough. Then I can shield up. Oh. Right, four more. Four more. Well, luckily, my warrior still has their turn. I don't think this one is much longer for the world of the living. Boop. <laughs> Especially if a crit's like that and sends us all flying into the void. I love when enemies fly off into the void. It's a satisfying feeling. Blackstone? And... I was just about to say, anything new? The answer is, yes. Yes, there is something new. Two Immortals, Critic, and a Praetorian. Ah! Joy. Joy. What do you have? What do you have? Okay, fair enough. for it. Uh, first off, finish this thing off so it doesn't get rest by the other cryptic. We don't need that mojo upon us. We do not need that mojo in our in the slightest bit. On 
honestly, the best I think I can do right now is just don't give him all the opportunity. Have more targets, have more... have more nuisances. One of that ways is definitely, um... Well, yeah. Getting in there, fires. Bonk. Nice crit. You're going for my medic. Huh. Alright, three repair to there. Unfortunately, the cryptic fell for that. Where's this Praetorian? Oh, you're just gonna shoot my healer. Well, there's one way to ensure my healer stays safe. <laughs> Look, it's gonna be that one's turn. Let's give it all the servitors in its face. This is the best plan. It's actually a shockingly, shockingly good plan. <laughs> Because it has no physical armor, so these servers actually wallop quite a punch on it. And just a bunch of servers appearing all around you and saying like, Nope, you don't get a turn. You don't get to move. Good today. Uh, not a whole lot I can do here since I put servitors in the way, but... Not like there's so much I can do anyways, because there's only so much room. But we'll do what I can do. Like, I could do that, and I would end up damaging a lot of my people. I'm not in that urgent of need, so I'm just gonna go like this. And yeah, that worked. That worked just fine. Uh, then I could get more cognition just like that. Perfect. Uh, hello there, you. You'd like to meet gum? Because, well, um. Nah. Well, then, um, you can wait a bit. That would have been not. not a good call. That would have been a horrible call. Oh, well. I can just go like this. Apparently, crit that console, dear mercy. Here, cognition, make this thing move out it needs to. Uh. Lock you in. Like, there's a reason I'm delaying, and that's because I do want to... Yeah, repair them. Get vengeance. Actually, I'm sure. You used to have armor. You no longer have armor. Need any more of that? Oh, the machine spirit cockpit to kill. Server to kill, rather. Ah, good times. Bye. Can I thread the needle? Uh, yes. Amusingly. <laughs> and I crit it. I think I'm 
made sure I could thread the needle. No threat remaining. Excellente. Mission complete. The Gahort locates the partially assembled Tesseract Lock. Though its construction is undeniably alien, the Castius Metallican's tech priests and analytical cogitors, cogitators learn enough from the lock to make opening further examples a possibility. The library of Melob has been locked thus far. Now, the Adaptus Mechanicus has the key. Key, key, key. Tesseract lock analysis commences. Quantum entanglement encryption slash macromagnetic clamps slash autonomous information quarantine slash chaotic theory encoding. Oh, that escalated then there. Impressive. How can they be opened? Speculation. Every lock equals a difference. Quantum uncertainty principles prevent a universal solution. Hypothesis. Combination of improvis improvisational anti-maintenance and applied kinetic force plus probability of success. Brute force then, but it is possible to open them. Possible equals true. Probably equals uncertain. Always leaving that room for the possibilities. Boom. Nothing lost, plenty of enemies killed, zero awakening. I am desperately making up for those for those increases earlier with the zeros now. Success. We have an additional mission deployment slot. We have a better scanner. Got in a chunk more black stone. 577 mouse clicks, 505 distance traveled, 5 rooms explored, 9 turns played, 62 attacks, 331 damage dealt, 26 damage taken, 0 units lost. Battle time, 37 minutes, 31 seconds, 830 milliseconds. And uh, that means... We can upgrade things. Uh, you are rank 19 already. You're also rank 19 already. You are 18. You are 19. You are 19, but if I bump you on to 20, I can I can work on things. I can get both upgraded scanners, so we shall do that. They now have distant prayers. And they now have. Scanners that are actually very worth using now. Their um, natural three cooldown, I believe. Yeah, their natural three cooldown because this is the co this is the cognition point setup. They have uh, they have uh, two cooldown instead. Now they can extract two cognition points directly from the target. This is very good. Gets them up to there. You're at 19 with potential room for upgrade. We still had someone who was 18. Yeah, my melee person. Let's get you dead analytics. Cognition points on kill. They get so many plenty of kills. This should work out in my favor. Do I want to upgrade? That would get them to that. 20 and 20 is perfectly fine for them. Could upgrade their pokey stick if I upgrade them. Anything else working towards though? Not particularly. Oh yeah, my ranger though I was. Because now. Yes, yes, exactly. Now my ranger does not have opportunity attacks. Now, my ranger 
can get the hell out of Dodge if something try to kill it, if need be. Without, without even having, or move around or whatever, without having to depend on uh, the pokey sticks, if need be. That works out well. One of my folks that still can't take opportunity attacks. I don't think it's me. It might not be anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. None of none of my tech priests can take opportunity attacks now. This this is very ideal. This is very nice. So now my folks can zoom around. Means honestly, hmm. I'll have to think on that button. I actually don't mind them having that right now. Alright, safety save. Now what's the new mission you have? Ooh, even better scanners. <laughs> The House of Wisdom. Open the four tesseract locks leading to the Library of Melob, rendering the library accessible for Tech Inquisitor Scavola to plunder for its information on Xeno's technology. Vargard Praetorian Cryptech Lichgard Destroyer Praetorian. Okay, so probably two different types of Praetorians. Blackstone Urns are. Ah, okay. That's how this one's upgraded. Doesn't give more cognition points, but it's minus a cooldown, which puts its cooldown on even lower bits. And a solar automat atomizer fires in a straight line passing through all units and walls. Eight hey, and walls? Oh, oh. Uh, 8 to 10 damage to targets, plus 3 damage on Machine Spirit. First mastercrafted by Archmagos Dominus Belisarius Call. This highly advanced melt attack fires a searing hot beam of energy straight through the toughest of foes. 5 cognition to use. Oh dear. But. That sounds really cool. <laughs> uh, who was it we had using straight line deals? Not you. You're using full on blasty blasts. It's you. Okay, so yeah. That's similar. This one's similar, but isn't stopped by walls. Okay. Interesting to know. And I kind of do want it. Because it sounds hilarious. So, um, we'll do it. <laughs> do it. We have more slots for even more soldiers. Because I'm cheap skate. Phase 2, in effect. Obstacle Enumeration, Intelligence Reports for Tesseract Locks. Four locks between us and the Library of Melob. Destiny Process Interrupt, Xenorite Fortunes Dependent on Xenos Knowledge Recovery. Library of Melob Acquisition equals Critical. This objective is for the good of mankind and the Cult Mechanicus, Tech Acquisitor. Not just the Xenorites. Xenorite Principle Retrieval. To use the word works of the enemy against him is the only viable course to secure the survival of the human species. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, this is an interesting start. Library protected by four Tesseract locks. Hypothesis. Purpose, keep out intruders and tomb robbers. Like us? Statement Agreement. Objective, locate and disable each lock to access library structure. My Skatari have uh, given these locks a wide berth. It seems the Necrons are keen on defending them. 
Value of library contents equals confirmed. Imperative. Make haste. The House of Wisdom. Deployment 31. Let's see here. We initially have two things right off the bat. And then the third one's further in. Okay, so our deal route is definitely either... Take either of those routes. Go into that middle glyph. Then head on through. Alright. Safety save, because now I'm paranoid that it's... Uh, that it's hiccuped once. <laughs> so, zoom, zoom, zoom in. I wonder if it'd be more efficient to head back than that way in terms of combat difficulty. Eh, we'll see. Uh, we have two Praetorians. Excuse me, game. Two Praetorians, a Cryptic, a Vanguard, and a Lich Guard. We have one terminal there, and that's our only terminal. It's behind, well, behind shields, but also has those things. Either way, I don't have to go full defensive, I just need to not trap anybody in. You go here would get you closer to that console, so... Yeah, you'll be here. You're actually in a perfectly fine spot. Cognition there. Healer slightly in that way. And I realize I clicked on the wrong one. You there. Uh, you there. You there. Perfect. Praetorian will go first. We'll see who this one goes after. Ah, you. Hello. Rude. But thank you for the point of cognition. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't have much in the way stuff right here, so delay there. And now we can get all the cognition our heart desires by poking this thing in the face. Boop. Boop. That. Give it a little bit of a dose of the flamethrower. Um, oi! Well, fine then. If you're gonna be like that, I'll just beat this thing's face in. Yeah. Yeah. I, um... I forgot they could do things like that. Rather, the... What are they? The Yeah, the Varguard. Because it's been a while since I fought Varguards. Go through here. Go through here. Make you'll regret that day you teleported in front of my prey. Yeah. Yeah. Now how do you feel? <laughs> hey. Hey. Now how do you feel? Scan and absorb your your stuff. Hope you hope you feel regret for what you have done. Anyways, auto repair. Aw, see, see, you can't do your turn because you're dead. It's unfortunate. Oi, you're blocking my path. Blocking my path to my scanner. Well, this thing is done. kind of sit over here waiting for her to get the scanner. Don't want to be in immediate line of sight, for obvious reasons. Any 
other cognition we can take? Yes, sir, it is. I shall say. actually fully reach these things quite yet. At least not conveniently. But I'm sure things will open up soon. Oh wait. I love that. I can actually see this from here. Oh don't mind me, I'm gonna jump on this opportunity. So, how do you feel like a razor to the face? Is that a valid proposition for you? No, no, eh, too bad. Zap. That's actually real, it sets too. Sure. Ah, you have energy resistance. Of course you did. Why wouldn't you? Let's go over here, get some more cognition, and then try to position my shield right. Like that. We'll finish it off. Because none of that now. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> There's also the Praetorian there. Oh, well, let's see what we can do. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Like that one can only hit that there, unless. Unless we move forward, and everything can be hit by it. And it sounds like a plan to me. Zap, zap, and... Now most of them have had energy things, but it's fine. Ooh, that one doesn't. <laughs> Hello, you're about to regret everything. Ah, I can counterattack me. Ow. Okay, now I'm really gonna make you regret that because that hurt. Oh, sufficient use? Eh, not really. Do I care? No. <laughs> Can I get all of them? Probably not. Yeah, you take that. You fucking deal with it. Oh yeah, also bye. Blip. <laughs> Recently, I'm gonna kind of walk skitter on over here. And that cognition, and then poke it out of existence. Poke. I killed all your friends. Bye. Paired by the machine gods. You don't need any servitors. In fact, I just kind of want you. Start walking back. More auto repair. Should walk you over here. Here, but on the combination, so nothing really being gained out of you going further. 
Except for your auto repair, which is perfectly acceptable. Of course, my healer's going last, which is unfortunate, but... If I just have to heal them up next turn, then I shall be next next roundabout. Alright, you go over here. Alright, Bardow. I, I I appreciate you popping into Lurk. It's 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 very appreciated, and yeah, I I hope I hope you have a great night as well. Thank you, thank you very very much. My honor, I'm your honor. I'm killing this cryptic <laughs> with vast amounts of overkill. No threats remaining. This lock is covered in thick roots that have breached the tomb structure from above, making it impossible to get at the device. Some application of force will be required, but without risking but without risking triggering the alarms and other defenses the Necrons are sure to have employed. We can dissolve, use combinations of chemicals to dissolve and weaken the roots. Demolish. Use explosives to blast the roots away. Ah, yes, excellent. The the force that will not trigger any alarms or defenses, I'm sure. Uh, I'm still tempted to do this. Deforce. Use bladed weapons and tools to cut the roots away. <laughs> I'm so tempted to explode it, even though that's probably not the best option. Chemicals sound kind of smart to smart to me because. That would be relatively quietless, and I'll go with it. Or is this my urge to demo? But if this goes horribly wrong, I will regret not having blown everything up. An ingenious solution is to mix uh, Prometheum, Prometheum, and sacred Numo Numo Wrench lubricant to create a potent acid that weakens and withers the roots. The process is very time-consuming, but the application of knowledge to solve this conundrum serves as an object lesson in leaving to the tenets of the cult Mechanicus. Yep. Lengthy, but effective. Like I said, I'm never necessarily against their initiative being up. I can work around that. Speaking of which, safety save, just in case. And on to encounter number two, which is still without it ticking over to one. As I went this way instead of the other way. So I have to pop that glyph at some point, but... Let's see what we have here. Scan or destroy once again. There are literally two more terminals right next door to us. <laughs> and then uh, the one over there have on the board a Praetorian, a Destroyer, a Lich Guard, a Lich Guard, a Lich Guard, and a Lich Guard. Ah! We've got a Barber's Quartet of Lich Guards. Let us hope they don't start seeing at us. Which is a Barber's Quartet of Lich Guards is amusing. We do not want them to murder us in the process. Alright. Uh... First things first, a defensive formation around uh, this one yet again, because they're a bit weak, and everyone's going first. Luckily, that thing's in the way. These ones are just kind of lumbering long. <laughs> they might actually... okay. They did not block away through, as amusing as that would have been. Not that it blocked the Praetorian. Ah, you are sticking at range. I can live with that. Ow. Well, screw you, I absorbed it. Wanker. You actually have a shot there? Huh. Oh, I guess... Oh. My depth perception was way off. That is... 
That is not a wall. <laughs> that is a void. Okay then. Uh, first off, delay turn. Second off, murder. Let's see. One, two. Right, let's reduce the range on that. Cut everyone in that. Let's see if I can. There we go. Everyone deserves the flame cover equally. Oh, right, they move. I forgot about that. Oh, luckily my... Luckily that's my Matrix one. <laughs> uh, hi, please stay away from me. That could accidentally destroy that. Uh, I don't, in fact, risk aggroing those ones again. I do, however, shoot across the bow. That won't move closer, but that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, let us use one to scan this. Because then I can also just start poking it for recognition and get in a slightly more favorable position. Probably gonna heal these two just fully. Uh, honestly, delay your turn. Uh, we're not gonna delay your turn because we want you to at least just simply shield. Um, the stuff we need out of this one first. This one for free. And we'll boost ourselves back up a bit. Alright, we shall repair. Repair, and then shoot that thing over there, to be honest. So you're out of the way of whatever shenanigans I'm going to have my ranger do in just a moment. You know, wholesale, uh, wholesale fireworks of shooting are to commence in due moments. Can I shift enough to get that other one? Not readily. Really, even here 
isn't quite enough. No, apparently not. Oh, apparently it's just shielded by something, but oh well. So, anyways. We start blasting. <laughs> Lich guards will move forward. That's what the shield is for. And still, that is what the shield is for. For me to get cognition wise, not particularly. Readily shoot them again because that requires two more. I don't really have a cantabus to use, but what I can do is finish that destroyer off. Goodbye, destroyer. I shall not miss you in the slightest bit. Alright, now as for you. Well, this is your turf here. You have a lot of energy armor. Not quite so much physical. Can I kill that one? Not quite. I could easily, however, kill that one. So I shall. That is one less Lich Guard to trouble us. I shall move them there and. Well, I guess we'll grab that cognition. No reason not to. Guard is gonna go through there. That one's literally coming to the shield. We only have Lich Guards at the moment. Oh well. Damage absorbed. <laughs> oh right, I, I did it on a fire a little bit ago. I forgot I did that. Because I can, so I shall. as many of our melee people as possible. Only four damage on our part, but... Ah! Only needed one. Uh, you can just keep standing there. Uh, enjoy! Alright, we have a Lich Guard right there. So much cognition at the moment. No, no, let's um, let's fix the cognition part of it. You actually have a lot of physical. Well, okay then. Fair enough, I suppose. Ow. Well, I'm just gonna get ourselves. <laughs> sure. Thank God, crap ourselves right back. You hurt so much. Bye. Uh, 
three damage is too bad. Also, it's on fire, which is thankfully true damage. Well, here's her open. Excellent. Finish that one off. Go up here and finish this one off. And then just walk up to this one and say hi. Hello. Seven physical damage is uh, very rough for uh, obvious reasons. Oh, wait, I just had an idea. Uh, da -da. I do that, but I do have. I do have other gun. Which is a true damage gun. I get it walk fast, at least. My other person with a melee weapon. Not that I'll do anything, but... Oh, hells yeah. Or... Or they'll be the one to just saw it off, hit a crit, and... Well done. Well, well done. I'm always glad to be proven or proven wrong by my tech priest. <laughs> I'm always glad to be proven wrong. Alright, let's go scan this one. Don't let another new round go by. Get our blackstone and... Oh. Uh, hi. I was not expecting some folks to fill the void there. Well. Well, okay then. We have a little bit more on this one. Bonk. Bonk. And then turn, I guess. Like I said, I will. Um, not expecting the newcomers to show up. So, uh, uh hello, you two. Welcome to the party, and so on and so forth. Be your designated good breeder for the moment. And by that, I mean I hope you like lasers. Because I like lasers. I guess it's a difference when you're on this side of the laser. Ah, well. Sure, they don't mind. Just back into the shield. Care that it costs another cognition. Back into the shield. Oh, wow. Did not go the full mileage. Well, uh, that works for me. reason those are a bit awkward hit. Don't know why. I have to dangle a little bit more. Fire. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Okay. No threat remaining. Guess I didn't care the cryptic was still alive. Formulating desire. Desire complete. Imperative. Take the book. Upon an altar-like pedestal stands an artifact of hinged metal slabs, like a book with pages of steel. It is displayed like one of the sacred tomes of the cult Mechanicus, and from the many sarcophagi facing it, this Necron tomb holds a similar position of reverence. Could purge with flame, destroy the book, abandon in place, leave the book where it is, or acquire for posterity, take the book. Well, I mean, it might backfire on us, but Scivola did want us to, indeed, take the book. Quotation Retrieval Archmagos Nerovian Xenorite Master Less exalted minds might waver to learn the secrets of the Xenos, but we are stronger. We are better. The cohort it takes the book and secures it in a void-locked specimen pouch, but not before one of the troopers glimpses the hieroglyphics inside that uh, that depict Necron over overlords uh, commanding legions of slaves from dozens of different species. This vision of a galaxy under the Necrons is illuminating, but disconcerting. Their awakening goes up. Cognition points go up. And we have the book. It almost feels like a sort of ne necron necronomicon. Necronomicon? Oh yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Presence has been detected, and we have a glyph. Ooh, green one. Ah, more. Oh well. More cognition. All right, we'll save before progressing into the battle, just in case. And go into the last battle room. Ah, scanner destroyed. That means we do have. All right, we have one thing there. I don't think it'll be enough to bump us back under zero, but we might be able to get through this with just one. Vargard, Destroyer, Praetorian, Lichguard. And a couple of three things right there. Uh, the Praetorian and the Destroyer goes first. The Destroyer can't exactly reach us. Though. Victoria and might go wherever it, wherever it pleases, as I sure it will. This will defensive format like that. Yeah, that's about what I expected for it to go location-wise. Delay your turn. We do not have to delay your turn, though. Uh, first things first. <laughs> Alright. Those two things switched, so... Now we have a different uh, enemy composition here. Oh, well, fair enough. Uh, oh, you like a flamethrower. You have no physical damage. I'm sure you love a flamethrower. Meanwhile, I get my cognition back from using my flamethrower. Of course you don't mind. That guard has now trapped itself there. We now instead have the Vargard here. Alright then. We 
Okay, no. We can deal with that. Looks like you no longer have a turn. Unfortunate for you. Ah! How super unfortunate for you. You have no physical armor. Say hello to my warrior. Who is... Who is Balm. Go here. See what this scanner destroy pops up on us. Ah, it releases those. Now we are to kill all enemies. There's oh, there's a Praetorian there as well. Huh. I've not noticed the Praetorian. Also, this is a very sturdy console. Both of those ones. <laughs> well, that thing's dead. One of those things is now super dead. I approve. Another mission from that. Get a repair down. That thing? Yes, I definitely should have the store. Just in case it actually happens to be enough. Probably won't be. Never know until you try. That is what the shield is for. That is 100% what the shield is for. Like that, it's probably safer to do it like this. Skitter, 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 skitter. This. I am fine with this. Retreat while you can. And, okay, this works. That super works. Yep, we could not get a level one. Oh well. We did what we could. The lock is a Necron device of extreme cunning and esoteric technology. Opening it without destruction would be a technological conundrum. But there is no telling what defensive devices the Necrons might have employed to punish anyone trying to force the lock. We have three options here. Intelligence. Try to open the lock with the application of technological skill. Wisdom. A pray, a prayer, pray to the Omnisci to intercede. Or strengthen. Smash the lock open by force. We'll do intelligence because that seems that seems proper for us. Ah. Minus four health. Unfortunate, not a huge deal. The Xenos technology is complex and dangerous, but one valiant member of the cohort tries to manipulate its circuits and connections to spring the mechanism. During this process, the trooper is struck by strange mental feedback, perceiving for a moment a galaxy of dead stars where all biological life is extinct and Necron structures cover every planet. The lock is opened, but at a cost. 
but our mission is complete. The final Tesseract lock is sprung open with application of simple tech principles and enthusiastic application of a pneumo wrench. Finally, the path to the Library of Nalab should be open, but first the cohort must fall back through the tomb to resupply and plan for their next foray. Soon Malab's secrets will belong to me, Adendum, and to mankind, of course. The Skatari units are reporting a whole section of the tomb is opening up. Looks like the way is open, Tech Acquisitor. Victory imminent. Vindication inevitable. I must remain pragmatic in the face of your enthusiasm, Skevola. It is all very well pursuing a treasure trove such as Milob's library, but not of doing so undoes, undoes our mission completely. Conjecture. Knowledge from the library will furnish us with a weapon against the Necrons. Xenorite principle retrieval. Use the works of the enemy against them. Very well. Uh, minus 40 for that couple of seconds last moment. Fortunate, but oh well. Have our tally for things murdered. Always, always good. Mission complete. And only one awakening is pretty solid. Respectable amount of Blackstone. The Solar Atomizer, which sounds... <laughs> Upgraded Scanner. Only one of those. 497 mouse clicks, 330 distance travel, 5 rooms opened, 6 turns played, 54 attacks, 322 damage dealt, 24 damage taken, 0 units lost. Battle time, 33 minutes, 6 seconds, and 33 milliseconds. We have some... Stuff to play around with. Let's see here. You. That requires three. That requires another one. Let's um, upgrade you just for the heck of it. Do we work for another distant prayers or do we work for a cognition point on killing? Consider the armaments I'm giving you. Uh. This. Let's see what that looks akin to. So that's that one at a cost of four. That is... Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. More expensive to sh more expensive to fire, but it looks well amazing. <laughs> Let's be fair here; it just looks really cool, and its machine spirit is a plus three. Honestly, I think it'll work. And the advantage is, it's not only more damage; it can go through units and walls, so nothing will stop this thing from firing in its line, and that's. That works for me. Yeah, that works for me. That one's 20. You're at 20. You're at 19. You're at 19. You're at 20. Then we're back around. So, we upgrade our healer to 19. Yeah, we can do, say, that. And we can upgrade their pokey deal to a better saw blade. Yeah, I still don't have huge weaponry on them. That's honestly, hmm, honestly, maybe something I should think of. At least because I do have them with uh, that deal. Maybe just at least have a weapon that's that's a cost of. Or rather, uh, 
cost two cognition to fire. That's the, that one. If there's anything we're gonna run into, it's gonna have that issue, but that's actually not a humongous deal. Honestly, yeah, the... Where's that rifle again? That one right there, it's four to six energy damage, two costs, uh, reveal statistics, uh, plus two machine speed damage. I think, yeah, I think that one would work well. Put the rifle on them, and then we'll just put that one back on. That's all back on, and that leaves you at 19. You're the only one that oh. Torsion Cannon. Single target ranged attack. Upon hitting target, turns into a circle area attack that passes through units and walls. Normally found on Cataphron Battle Servitors, this version of the Torsion Cannon's template was found deep within the tombs of Silva Tenebris. More portable, this template allows tech priests to use this blessed weapon without the need of a battle servitor. Also upgrades Skitari Vanguard Alpha to 3. That's um... That's an interesting premise looking. Deathmark, Praetorian, Destroyer, Lichguard, Cryptek, Praetorian, Varguard, can't pick Wraith, the, the verge of Omniscience. Omniscience. To a prize, the ultimate prize on Silver Tenebris is the Library of Milan. Enter the library and take its secrets for the Xenorite faction. I think I will actually do this one. But, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna take a quick, quick stretch.
only gone for a week, eh? and the spiders think they have the run of the place now. Suffice to say, I'm having to re-establish the law around here, and that's called- and that law is called No Survivors. Get the hell out of my area. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let us give this a shot. Enter Milov's library and take all you can find. Have our tech priests. Have our servitors. We, um, we could consider bringing something more, but... Attacks are always critical hits. Opportunity attacks, bonk. Honestly, our servers are easy to deploy. Time equals now. Library of Malav equals ours. Desire. Acquire slash strip slash steal everything from library. I concur. This Skatari cannot be enthused. Can, this Skatari cannot be entrusted with this mission. It must be one of our Tech Priest cohorts that enters the place. If success equals true, then Xenorites embrace you as brother. Vaults of uh, Stygius VIII opened for you. Let us get our hands on the library secrets first, Skevola. This is not over yet. That it isn't. But we will raid this place for all the knowledge we can. The Tomb of the Lob is almost fully awoken. The Skatari lines are falling back. We won't be able to operate in there much longer. Task requirement equals just a while longer. A lot of men have died so you can claim this prize, Tech Inquisitor. Do not forget that when you have your hands on it. Their sacrifice honored equals true. By their deaths, they have made themselves more than mere men. They join the Omnisai in the infinite. I'll be sure to put that on their tombstones. The Verge of Omniscience. What's our path? Ah, our path is called simple. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. That works for me. Quick hit. Straightforward and s uh, it's simple in route. I won't consider the battle simple, but we'll see on those grounds. Before we press in, shall we take and steal all we can out of this library? <laughs> ah, these xenoforms are truly vile, they take such grotesque shapes. Let us plus observe, plus admire, plus wonder, plus discover. Oh, we do need to discover what these new things are because this is indeed new for us. A cano canoptic wraith. I have no idea what they do. Uh, let's see here. Terminals. There's a deal right there. There's a deal right there. Praetorian, Deathmark, Lichguard, Wraith, and Destroyer. And we are here behind all these shields. Because of course we are. Uh, there is a Praetorian. There's only one post. I'm not overly concerned. <laughs> There's you with your solar atomizer. Back one. You the there. Alright. See what's what. Like where do you go, Praetorian? Ah, you're going right there. Okay, fair enough. Not overly surprised. And 
Servo Skull of that. It's automatically a good start. Fire up our lasers. Ah. Hmm, unfortunate. Also kind of unfortunate. We're just a shy bit clo too close to, like, everything. We have moving. She might be an elevation thing, weirdly enough. Okay, we'll, um, work with what we've got. Which is, um, this. At least hit both of them like this. Critical there. Ignition. And, um. Hi, hello. Sets to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, well then. How unfortunate for you. Sources. No. So we can only do one of those, but that might be enough. It was not enough. Uh, now it's enough. Grab the cognition. And proceed. Actually, gonna fall back. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Auto repair there. There's no cognition for us to really pick up, but delay your turn. You know, that one apparently gets shot off on us. Is what happens. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> Oi! Who said you could do that? <laughs> Early not me. You there. No. Just no. <laughs> doing things, are ya? Oh no, the horror. Anyways. Bonk. <laughs> the ground is stored, so I have to turn. Then it's... Use that to get a turn off here. Although we need to... Uh... Stats, you are still super durable. Interestingly, its stats don't seem to be getting revealed on me, which is. might be part of the shin dig. Just. just maybe. <laughs> so, um. One can probably guess what I'm about to try out at the moment. 
with one guest, the giant laser soul anatomizer. That would be correct. Let's see what this does. <laughs> the power of the sun in my hands. The power of the sun in my hands. One cannot imagine how satisfying some of these later game weapons have been. The answer is super satisfying. So, so very satisfying. Let's go ahead. Absorb those on up. And, ah, the way is open for us. Excellent. I like when the way is open for us. Both of them with the line. Could hit both of these with the line. That is an option. Or apparently not. Huh. No, interesting. The line has been being uh, fickle. However, this still works. There we go. That wraith is down. That one is almost down. I could go all in on that. But, I mean, and I might, but I still, I still want to get at these consoles. to get my awakening down. Then I can zoom all the way over here. There's minus one. Tuck on that down. And then just very much roll. Because I am somewhat confident in my ability to take out the rest of these. Somewhat. Not completely, but somewhat. You are just crouched behind there. I could just delay turns until it moves. That is an idea. That was worth that was a worth exchange. Because um here's my apology to her. Distant prayer. <laughs> Sorry to you, my word. Uh have have that health. Fill the cognition gauge. Start trudging towards me. Whatever need be done, you have to walk through. Yes, that is exactly how we will play this. Now, if you want to get to me, you have to, well, um, get through everything. Oh, 
opportunity. I continue walking. Ah, um, that wasn't the full way. but I guess I'll just walk up and start smacking it. Might not be a machine, though, now that I think about it. Okay, it was. Good. Good, good, good. Six down, and then it is your turn. Which we finish it off. Huh? Easy as that. No threat remaining. That was, of course, only the first battle of the place, but so far, no threat remaining. Just a taste slash fraction slash morsel of knowledge to be gained. Conjecture still worth taking? The chamber ahead is an anteroom of the Library of Malab, containing racks of data medium tomes and technical diagrams etched on slabs of carbon. This is far from the bulk of the library, but there could be plenty to gain from plundering this place. Pass by, ignore the chamber and keep moving. Plunder, give the chamber a thorough plundering and take as much as the cohort can carry. Peruse, take a few of the most impressive looking uh, tomes. Ah, uh, that seems like a good uh, medium. The cohort stops long enough to grab some of the data medium tomes from the shelves. They leave a lot behind here, but what they do grab represents considerable material value in the form of rare data medium as well as the potential to illuminate Necron Seekers millions of years old. Excellent. So we started the there, we want this route. Yeah. We're on filter into the glyph room. Do we have an obvious thing? Hey, that one's green. And some black stone. Save to make sure we don't have to redo anything. Um, <laughs> I can give you a little bit. It literally froze up as I tried to save it. Because why not? Why not? Try to do the right thing and it's... I was walking. Uh, let's just wait a moment while it's still making noise. It doesn't Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> Okay, we're good. The game made me worry. Thankfully, it's it's fine. It's fine. Thank goodness it's fine. Let us proceed, for the game has other ideas. we have set up wise console right there so we only have one of those let's get see those are turrets that way destroyer praetorian with shield generator there a wraith there and a cryptic there okay then interesting initial setup have you be there Sure, 
we'll roll with this. We're an odd setup because we can't actually reach anything at the moment. There are shields everywhere. We can sort of think see something there. So that way. Or not, apparently. Wow, this is a really awkward start to be put in. Like, I can't hit anything in the immediate moment. Which is... <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll just... No use expending things. I will just get in position to act. When upon the time comes. As in, would they let me through? Cue, cue the let me in, let me in meme. Because seriously, let me in. That's an interesting idea. Let's me shoot through that one. Uh, okay. Who am I to say no to that? Oh right, because that shoots through walls, of course. That's why I can do things there. <laughs> because that gun is literally the gun of fuck your walls. Of course, of course. I completely forgot already that my solar atomizer says goes absolute and no you. I'm just shooting through this area anyways. Which I'm perfectly fine with. <laughs> Turn won't impact us because we're not standing in front of it. Some free turns with auto repair, but at the cost of being able to do much. I guess now this one's popping in. Eh, how are you? For some reason I semi-forgot that Praetorium was still a thing. But you know what, it's fine. I'm just gonna say hi to it. <laughs> like I said, we're gonna say hi to it. Say hi to it some more. Stepped in the wrong neighborhood. Although I probably should have done this in the other order. It's fine. Just have you sit right there. Around, our presence has been detected. We have been let in. Servitor to be annoying to the destroyer. Ow. This is fine. It is literally already paid for its. Paid for its summoning in. And bonk. Or whatever that does. I don't know. We won't know. I do know is we about to laser some fools. And this some fools. And you know, all that jazz. Ah, I see all that armor did not help you. Unfortunate for you. As I also actively just strip its armor away. I approve. Oops, oops, 
get her. Don't that stupid thing, but I might as well. Finish that one off. Cryptics allowed. There they go. Alright, move you to uh, one one deal right here. Poke. And we poke. to Necron Awakening. Grab the three cognition from here. Then we go full on power on this one because we don't know what its stats are. But we very much want it dead right now. 22 damage. I could, oh, I could, but only hope that's enough. <laughs> so if it wasn't, hold your hearts. As for you, you need to go. Unfortunate. Not wholly surprised, but unfortunate. I do what I can. Do what I can. Got the range on this thing. I I have to be careful with this thing. But oh dear mercy, it's so 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 good fun. Get that from that. You get that from that. Move you up to here. Five to seven, and you have two health left. Okay, we are guaranteed to get it. So. Do so after we poke a full more cognition points. Because I'd be foolish not to do so. And. Destruction is the destiny of the Zeus. No threat remaining. For an awkward start, that panned out enough. Huh? The Necrons in the Tomb of Melob are awakening at an increasingly rapid pace. Now their library has been breached. The chamber ahead contains several dozen Necron sarcophagi, primed to open and disgorge more Necron warriors. Perhaps this process could be slowed down, or even halted if the cohort takes the risk. Scorn, leave the chamber be. The best solution is to keep moving and outpace the Necrons to the objective. Sabotage. Tamper with the sarcophagi to shut them down. Smash. Attack the sarcophagi with explosives. Oh, game, you know me too well. And I'm sure I'll be punished for this, but... Kaboom. Explosions erupt through the chamber. While the sarcophagi themselves are too tough to be destroyed, large parts of the chamber collapse on top of them. The emerging Necrons will have to fight their way through heaps of rubble before they can dog the cohort's footsteps. Thus is proven an unofficial doctrine of the cult mechanicus. Sufficient application of explosives can eventually solve anything. I love that unofficial doctrine. That is the best unofficial doctrine. <laughs> and I'm glad to have been living up to this at this point. Eventually, explosions will solve everything. <laughs> Minus initiative for our next fight, which is indeed the final fight. How convenient. 
explosions are our friend. Da, 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 da. Ah, red or a green. Uh, yeah, we're going green. We have learned by now that red is bad. I have already tested this in the name of science. We shall not be testing this again. For the science has already been done. Let's move in to the final fight of this one. It's been going pretty well so far. Let us keep up that pace. Because that pace is a really good pace. Alright, what if... Ah! We have a Necron Lord. Well, alright then. Whoa, look how big this map is. We have tons of different sources of cognition. Threes, twos, ones, all across the board. We have a Necron Wraith, a Cryptic, a Deathmark, a Praetorian, okay. Another Deathmark, a Vargard, a destroyer. We have our Necron Lord right there. And we have the initiative jump on them. We only start off in this tiny little area. But wow, this is. This is a battle map. <laughs> Let's get started. Right, Ranger's going first. Our warrior goes second. Let's see here. Next up is our. Shielder. Oh, that Necron Lord fight music. It so just hypes you up to do this. <laughs> I love it. There, go, and there. Oh, wait, no. You I need up a step. There we go. Wow, look at this map though. So much cognition sources. So much we can do. And oh man, am I gonna try to pounce on it as best as possible. Uh, let's see what we can attack right off the bat. Just go right in. That... If I go this far is a relatively straight line. Let's see if that's enough, or if I need to creep a little bit closer. We we definitely have cognition to spare, so should not be afraid to use it. Okay. Yeah, I can just cut straight through there. Up, power up. Two spy two. And zap. Ah, they swapped. <laughs> uh, so, um, good sir, how well did that swap work out for you? <laughs> oh, it didn't. How unfortunate. Gods, that swap did not work out for the that Nick. I was like, Hi, I'm gonna save my cryptic. Oh, gods. Blip. Oh wow, if we go here, I'm taking risks because stuff like this is too good to pass up. <laughs> uh, and we have so much cognition to spare on this map. Grab the three from there. Let's start shooting. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh yeah. I love it. I love that gun I picked up. That heavy phosphor blaster and this plasma over in both. Mm, beautiful guns for my ranger. Beautiful, beautiful guns. 
right, let's pick up more cognition in the sea of cognition. Heck, I can just... <laughs> I could go on an adventure of cognition. Do -do 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 -do. Just bruise that, bruise that, and... Oh, that looks interesting, too. And then I bundle. Alright. That was only our ranger start. <laughs> Was that destroyer looking okay? That destroyer is very vulnerable to me. To my warrior. We shall hop on it. Also, because our warrior will zoom. The warrior is the zoom. So we shall race the zoom. Again, I really need to remember to at least first because movement speed is movement speed. But uh, whatever. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> ah, crit. Excellent. I approve of that notion. I'm actually going to purposely go a little bit further, just so. Just because I know I'm going to be moving some more anyways. I'm doing a tour to force of finishing some things off. Do a little bonky bonk. That is a Praetorian, so. There's no point in getting into the Praetorian space. However, maybe the Wraith is a good one to be in. I'm presuming I just don't kill the Wraith because uh, that might well be a plan. You know, considering I have a solar atomizer and all. <laughs> okay, I can't go that far, but... Who I wonder, though... Can I go like this and have some... Why must you be like that, spider? Why? Fine. Well, uh, there we go. That's what we want. Zap. Oh, I crit that. Excellent. That's that's a Praetorian problem solved. <laughs> This is what happens when the game gives me so much cognition to work with. I'm just... I'm just on it. Poke. We're out of that cognition. We'll spend a cognition to get that to cognition. Then we'll be right up in its face. Hello there. And ah, uh, yeah, we should shield too. Because of course we should. Why wouldn't we? If we can't finish this thing off. It's a no guarantee, of course, but I would like to. Any of my folks? No, it doesn't. There we go. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Spin one to go there. Then get into the shield. As for you, well, um. Nothing stopping you from just going into the shield either. We only have the Necron Lord at the moment. console somewhere. I don't remember. 
And I don't see one, so, uh, yeah. Alright, Necron Lord, you're ch Oh, oh, hi. Uh, something, something, nothing personal? Oh, hello there. You have just teleported right to me. That actually saves me a lot of time and effort. Cool. Well, thank you for that. Mistake. Go here. Let's do that, but we can do this. Then move in. Also, shield. We shall just in case. Next physical attack? Yeah, let's go with this. <laughs> Humorously enough, it might actually go to the servitor. Armor. Uh, the answer is humorously yes. Servitor kill. How embarrassing. How embarrassing for that Necron Lord. A servitor bonked it on the head. The chill, august ma magnificence of the library chamber is ahead. Reams of forbidden knowledge line its shelves. Though the prize is in sight, discipline must still be maintained in the moment of victory. More haste, begin looting the library before the Necrons can catch up and intervene. Slow, slow and steady, start by examining the library and assigning priority to the items to be taken. Or, prepare thy spirit. Pray to the Omnicide for protection against the corruption surely inherent in such a place. For Necrons can catch up and intervene. Signing priority to the items to be taken sounds like a smart deal, and it does say disciplines must still be maintained in the moment of victory. So, that's what I'll do. The cohort starts by exploring and examining the library to see if there is any reason or order in the arrangement of the countless tomes and artifacts. 
They are unsuccessful in working out how the library is organized, but the insight into the infinite complexity of a Necron Lord's mind is illuminating, and they remain vigilant. Mission complete. The Library of Malab now belongs to the Adeptus Mechanicus and to the Xenorites. Tech priests begin the long process of retrieving everything they can from the library. Data medium tomes, necron artifacts, and awe-inspiring quantities of raw data. There's enough here to keep uh, Xenorite scholars busy for decades, and no telling what galaxy-shaking secrets are concealed within the data waiting to be found. Nice. Descriptive powers equals insufficient, an astonishing wealth of artifacts and data, ultimate purpose, bring Xenorite's creed to Mars, now possible. A great victory indeed, but I urge caution, for all it shall be repurposed to serve mankind, I fear some of what we have recovered from the library of uh, Melob is still dangerous. Xenorite principle retrieval. There must be no limits to our learning. Nothing is forbidden in our search for wisdom to fight our enemies. Everything is permitted. I do not know if I can embrace your philosophy so completely, Scivola. Statement disagreement. You will, Magos, when witness what we are building equals true. You will. Library of Malab. It is no doubt why there was so much cognition points in there, because knowledge, so much knowledge to be our power there. Also, our introduction with Scantatar Brace. I'm not sure what they do attack-wise because I keep on murdering them, but I've not been un I've not been able to retrieve it. Re to retrieve their stats effectively. Oh well, we have gained one awakening. We've gained this uh, torsion cannon, which sounds. And terrifying. Skitari Vanguard Alpha Level 3. A decent amount of Blackstone. 550 mouse clicks. 446 distance traveled. 6 rooms explored. 6 turns played. 53 attacks. 376 damage dealt. 24 damage taken. 0 units lost. Battle time. 35 minutes, 14 seconds, 476 milliseconds. <laughs> I will note, Scavola no longer has any missions at the moment. We have, we have done, we have done them a solid. Now let us see what we can do. Do you for the rest of them, folks? Alright, so we could still get booped up a little bit more. No purpose in that. Might be some purpose in to some prayers just to have uh, to have the excess healing and honestly I think I will go for it. Kind of reinforce things a little bit more there. As for folks, we can upgrade things on. We can upgrade your sidearm. Can't upgrade those quite yet, but we do have better scanners now. So that is an option. We're building folks up to anything in particular on. That's how I prioritize, actually. Oh, we're one point away from that for you. Nothing in the media vicinity there. For you, we had just gotten that. So you are a healer. Quite at the moment. Okay, then 
I shall get that one. Cut mission point on target kill. Then, at least for the moment, we can upgrade that to saw. We'll keep those as is because that's. yeah. <laughs> that's fun. Let's see here. You have this mission to explode things. You have this, which sounds fine. You? Ah, we have a new mission here. Which, I mean, is a boss mission, but... With Visor Melob. The Royal Visor. Prime Hermicon Capturic has identified the location of the sarcophagus of Lord Melob, Jermelob's tomb, and destroyed the Royal Visor. That's the Omnisign Axe deal again. Or at least it's one of its upgraded versions. Cataphrim Battle Servitor upgrade. Black Snow. Not quite confident on that, but. I think we'll do Capras, because Capras is ones that have felt like have led to additional tech breeze so far. That might be what I'm sitting on at the moment. This will be Cryptex, Immortals, Warriors, and Heavy Destroyers. I've not encountered Heavy Destroyers before. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> War Games. Subdomina Kepra reports a strange chamber in the tomb of Neftusk containing a scale model of the tomb complex. Locate and capture the chamber so its contents can be used to map the tombs more accurately. That we shall. Tech Race and all our soldiers. I have just received a strange report from our Skitari units in the tomb of Neftusk. It might be worth your attention, Majos. Lord Neftusk, it seems, was eager to commemorate his achievement in building the tomb complex. Previous mission data suggests that Lord Neftusk was greatly enamored of memorializing himself. One of the inner chambers contains what looks like a scale model of the whole tomb family. All the structures rendered in miniature. It's quite the thing. If such an object were captured, it could be invaluable in planning the exploration of the tombs. Ascertaining its purpose might also pr provide useful intelligence. It represents a conundrum that causes my emotional cores to return some curiosity. Some curiosity indeed. Enough that we will very much check it out. I wonder if the Necrons had any use for this model beyond simply reminding themselves of Neftusk's genius. Such miniature recreations are sometimes used in strategic training exercises. Their use is considered obsolete in the Adeptus Mechanicus. Sleep-taught tactical protocols and battle prayer sermons are far more effective. In any case, I plotted a route to the chamber through the Necrons Though the Necrons have recaptured much of the area from our Skitari. Perhaps they're using the model to plan their counterattacks? It shall soon be beyond their use, Subdomina. If it cannot be captured for our use, the application of explosives represents a logical, suitable solution. Damn right it does. It always does. <laughs> War Games, deployment number 33. Our route. <coughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that seems like a route. <laughs> that very much seems like a route. Boop, boop, return to game. We are being super cautious on those saves now. <laughs> Obvious concerned reasons. Alright. Ah. Resources from Life of Form and N346. 
Necron Destroyer have been positive. Now see heavier pattern, designating lifeform code NM346.2. Gather we must. Isn't it a failure to the Omnicide that we farm from the Xenos to data? One of my favorites cannot it unless you it cannot unless you canticle. Huh. <laughs> that's um that's a name. It cannot unless you canticle is a hell of a wordplay. V V34 shares that the only will of the machine spirit is that of the Omnicide technologies, for the Xenos will deceive you and tempt you, but you will not falter, for you are a priest. I've not heard this verse, Videx. I requested data merge on this log once the mission is complete. For now, however, we must do what we can to survive, and data mining Xenos lifeforms is one of those sacrifices we need to take. Oh wow, that's big. Alright, so... One scan thing deal. We're on a destroyer all enemies. We have literally three immortals and the heavy destroyer. And of course, the heavy destroyer goes first. Alright then. Our turn order's gone different again. Fair enough. Now we're mostly crammed together into similar circumstances. Uh, they're there. You there. Uh, there, there, maybe. Yeah, oop, oop, oop. It's our old reliable format. Things are gonna shoot us no matter what. Ah, there's a shield generator too. Fortunate. Shall account for it. Charging weapon. Ah! I don't like that, it's charging its laser beams. For uh obvious reasons. Like the fact that it's charging its laser beams. <laughs> down that away. Let's see what the stats on the heavy destroyer are. Four energy defense. Uh go figure. Go figure. Now we'll shoot this. Then we'll heal them with this prayer. Means if it has that much of that, the logical solution is going to be to, well, charge in on our warrior. So let's collect that cognition and proceed. Oh, well, there. I need you. What? Oh. Not existing, shall we say? Yeah, shall we say that? Yeah, of course we shall say that. Mission there, cognition there. So we can do that some more. There's that. And exit a question. Bonk. None of that now, Heavy Destroyer. None of that. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to go there. I will hide behind. Why do I not want to go there? Uh, because... As well. <laughs> yeah, AoE is about to happen. <laughs> but to put it mildly, AoE is about to happen.
requires three. We don't exactly have that at the moment, but we can have it in soon enough order. Coke. Coke. Oh, nope, we want it there. Zap. More AoE is gonna happen. Fill the cop mission gauge. And enter. Alright, what is our best angle? Not that. We need to be. This way? Yes, yes, we do. And flip the power of the sun in my hand, power of the sun in my hand. Let's shield up and make sure everyone's within the shield. Does it look good? Yes, it does. And then free use of this because my ranger will be going. In a shoot order. None of that. Now, none of that. Alright, fire. I already forgot I did fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no, no. Let's see what we can do with our range. That's gonna accidentally kill the console. Uh, let's um, let's um, make it so that's a benefit, and not a curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't be able to laser, but honestly, that is fine. Just whole shed destruction on most everything else is still a valid option to me. And, eh, uh, boom. <laughs> Beautiful. The cognition from there. And, oh, look what we can do. Boop. <laughs> and, boop. And that will do us for this session. Fly on crits. It's so satisfying. Crits are satisfying enough as is. But when they go whoosh. Yeah. Uh, it's good. It is good. I've never come across such a strange habit among the Necrons. I cannot guess at what purpose the Necrons might have uh, for these uh, diminutive replicas. I shall have to think on a solution for this puzzle. A bizarre sight greets the cohort in this chamber. Hundreds of miniature Necron warriors, each no taller than a man's finger, standing on dozens of shelves built into the walls. They are detailed enough to represent specific units and individuals among the Necron leadership. Oh no, 
Oh no. The Necrons, the Necrons are into 40k within the 40k universe. Oh dear gods. Can destroy, destroy what is obviously a shrine the Necrons made to, to themselves. We can loot, search the chamber for something that might give meaning to this strange discovery, or collect. Take some of the odd miniature Necrons. They might at least be useful for study. Sure. The cover pockets a few of the small figures, though they are destined to end up at curios in the possession of some tech priest. They can, in the meantime, provide new examples of Necron Warforms for the databanks of the Adeptus Mechanicus. We now have figurines. Be afraid. Be very afraid. The collection begins. Alright. It goes here, here, and then it's off that way. A lath-like machine fills this chamber. Going by the components littering the floor, it is used to manufacture tiny statues of Necron warforms. Oh no, we found them again. What reason the Necrons have to do this is unknown, but it seems clear they should not be allowed to continue. We can entomb, use a demolition charge to collapse the whole chamber, explode, blow up the machine with explosives, Ah, I see we've been given two options for explosions already. Or, in danger. Sabotage the machine so, when next operated, it shakes itself apart. So we want sabotage, a kaboom, or a bigger kaboom. <laughs> they should not be allowed to continue. I mean, I like the idea of just exploding everything. And you know what? I shall. A couple of them. A demolition charge mounted on one of the chamber's load-bearing structures brings the ceiling down on top of the machine, burying it under a huge, massive of rubble. Among the collapsed material are supporting beams of previously unknown alloy, samples of which are taken by the cohort for later examination. Let's see. Kaboom. Everything can be solved with judicious kaboom. Another shot. Kaboom. We had it, indeed. Presence has been detected. Glyphs. We shall go for the green. We did not need cognition points. That does not matter. We have them now. Now to do a save before we enter in. This battle... Then we just have another next down in line. If we're lucky with our consoles, we can keep things managed well enough on this. Well, there's only one way to see if we're lucky in that regards. Oh, well, there we go. It's a scanner distort mission. That gives us something to work with. Or rather, two things. Ah. I remember this map format. Basically, we will want to clear everything we can because, if I remember right, once we scan and just deal with these two things, more stuff pops up. Heavy Destroyer and the Cryptic are going first. Okay. You there. And you there. Be going up. So we need you to be free to charge straight on through. You're going there, so we'll put you there. And honestly, the rest of these is fine enough. There's those bigger guns. Charging weapon. The cryptic just decided to run. Okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> Big witch, time to start killing said cryptic. No running allowed. Ah. Well, okay. 
Okay then, fair enough. Okay, that's a lot of energy use too. Bit of some energy armor amongst these folks. That is fine, and that is why we have people who can do physical. We do indeed have a lot of energy, folks, but... And now hide behind that. Because you never know when we're going to be going full, full, full little melee. Or rather, full, full melee, but... Now it's not important. Ah, there's our physical armor person. They are indeed right there. That is the way we shut go. As well, that we can up this way a little bit. I don't think we're gonna be able to flamethrower because obvious reasons. <laughs> Let's have a guy standing right between them. Ooh, nice critical. standing here. Okay, if I can do this, I, this is going to be hilarious. Do, 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 do. This soul... <laughs> this solar atomizer has been well well worth it, the expenditure. Well worth it. Great. Nice. Boop. Still go up and axe him. Well, that it does me a... Uh, now that it's guaranteed to do a whole lot, but damage is damage. And then, boop. Then I can do that. And then go over here. That one tries to move, it is doomed. It's my ranger's turn. Let us go, my ranger. Let's see what we can do. Like, ideally without destroying the console, because we do want the black stuff from it. Excellent. That's what we like to see. 
That is what we like to see. Uh, we don't want to do that. Ooh, actually, there's our avenue. I could hit that without hitting the other deals. Excellent. <laughs> Bye! Enjoy the void! Oh dear, it's almost 130. This will probably be our... be the last one of the night. Fair warning on that accord. It is... Later than I th than I thought it was, or maybe as late as I thought it'd be, but it's getting to a point where it's late. At maximum, I'm going until two, so we'll see how things feel. Uh, we want cognition. There will be things coming out from other avenues. We want to be aware of that, but that will only pop up once we are in the right air. Once we've triggered it. So for now, get rid of these turrets. Oh, wait, no, that's a weapon. What am I doing? Being foolish is what's happening. That's a cognition. Now I want you right here. Yeah, yeah, that's that seems fine. Just grab some more cognition. fight that is uh, sure to happen. As for the ranger, you I shall get up all the way up. Yeah, that seems good. Shockingly, 
that works. Because those guys are shielded by the building. Zap. And what do you know? Shielded as well. single here would technically be just rushing past that one and going ham. <laughs> so, um, we'll, we'll actually do that. Humorously enough. Uh, you have a lot of that armor. Fair enough. A lot of your level of armor there. Cognition point there. It will 100% be shooting up. Go from there. Realize we did like nothing. No, it was said something. damage, and we can do an additional two damage on him. Then we can... Oh, wait. We can do this. I think, why didn't I do all this? Well, that's because I can get in their face. <laughs> and that is a grand. You know, we'll bless everyone for a round. Make sure everyone's all sturdy and dealt with. That was a crit opportunity attack. That is a good opportunity attack. Damage absorbed. This is our ranger's turn. Talk about shaving right down, down the wire. <laughs> Talk about cutting it close. Poke that thing to that. Oh, God. a lot of things dead. If we go here, use up one of our deals. This would take the rest of them. Oh, I don't know if it does in the first place. Is it Necron? 
I have no clue if Necron has souls or not. But whatever the case being, it is gone. Goodbye. Look, I should go into here. From this point onwards, it's just get everybody to it. I know I have some really f far people away, but. certainly need everyone to be in so we don't rack up too much of the of our awakening One damage snag all the cognition points from over here nom, nom, nom. and then get back into the square or rather the square You. It is time for you to zoom. Let's grab all those competition points. Very solid smack of the drive by. Excellent. We shaved off its armor just enough. For us to get through and escape. This way to pick this up. And I definitely should be able to get everyone in the room at this point. Especially if that sensor's nothing for folks to worry about. And yet, I am still double tapping this thing. You know, because it deserves it. It knows what it did. And that's called it tried to murder me. <laughs> Alright, and now just you. Perfect. We have to use up one other cognition. And do they are skittering on in. Lante Perfecto. The chamber ahead contains not the model of the tomb complex the cohort seeks, but a large relief map of a section of ground rendered in great detail. It appears covered in depictions of ruins and barricades. Search the table. Examine the map. Perhaps it charts a location somewhere in the tomb. <laughs> Flip the table. Destroy the map. It might be a strategic tool the Necrons are using, and should be put beyond their use. Or, consecrate the table. Sanctify the map uh, to the Omnisci, destroying any corruptive influence this strange artifact might have. All these are literally just a freaking reference to actual, actual tabletop deals. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a mission to end the night on, eh? <laughs> well, um, we'll continue our pursuit of knowledge here. The various miniature ruins and other details appear to be movable, as if the map is made to be configured differently, it seems. It seems, then, that it does not represent a specific real place, but is purely conjectural. The cohort take a few of the pieces of miniature topography, but are left otherwise baffled as to this object's purpose. Oh, well, um, there we go. We now not only have little miniature necrons, we also now have, uh, we now also have topography for the miniatures. And in this raid, we will have all the things. 
<lacht> Tschüss. <lacht> What a reference. All right, let's go to our last battle site. For some consoles to keep things managed here. One can hope. Well, there's a scanner destroyer there. Although, only one. There's a shield to here. Two shield generators there. Necron Warrior, Necron Warrior, Immortal, Cryptics, Heavy Destroyer. Interesting setup we have going on here. Well, let us make the most of it. My healer, so yeah, I don't want you completely up front. Your cognition and AoE, so that's not a bad spot. Especially considering your turn order. Okay. This is the last one, so. I'll start off a uh, servitor. It goes first, so that's good. Unfortunately, this. Well, first of our folks. Shield generators are going and giving them all the armor. Charging weapon. Kind of running back. Kind of running forward. Oh, another server run up and say rar. Ah, oops. I... Okay, delete turn. That's fine. Okay, so that can be shot through, which is good. Fortunately, it cannot be ran through, which is an ideal. But... Uh, how much we can really do, so... Honestly, we'll just have them run and grab these cognitions because uh, they have the movement speed to do so. And I can still just pop up here. Hi, I'm just gonna awkwardly stand here. They are, however, in a spot of good news for us. They are all very, very just compacted along here, so I should be able to do some fun stuff right here. By the power of AoE, I compelled to. Oh, well, that's a tough scanner, I just noticed. The scanner has like 20, 20 health, 5 armor each, dear mercy. Then I can choose everyone like that. Oh dear mercy, these fools. <laughs> can I pick it up from being here? Uh, no, no I can't. Ooh, I can scan or grab it though. That one's already dead, and I haven't even taken everyone's turns. Good. Ah, I have my solar beam now. gravy. Saw that crit there. There is no longer any cryptic alive. Good. Just 
poke that a little bit. Get our shield lined up right. And then use free cancel. Sorry, but I have already shielded. Get wrecked. Speaking of get wrecked, hello and welcome to the Ranger service, where the Ranger happens to be here to murder you all. I am very glad for the weapon choices I have going on, for obvious reasons. Bonk. <laughs> nope, I don't have that one. And sap. That is still alive. Okay, good. I almost thought I had accidentally destroyed it. I didn't, thankfully. I mean, I can, in theory. Nothing's exactly stopping me from going... ...going to try to finish it off, but... ...why would I do that? I do want to scan it, after all. Ideally. That's presuming this opens, and also is a little bit dependent upon the well. This, I need to get my awaken down. Then that's gonna be priority. Without a doubt. Okay, good. It's not down yet, so we can see. Play your turn. Worry about that at the moment. Oh. Scan that and see what we trigger. There's the black stone. Anything else? Yes. Yes, indeed, there's more. Alright then, fair enough. God, that says... Still has quite the capabilities. Alright, that is... that is fine. That is fine. Completely fine, but... Fine enough once we start laying down the law again. By that I mean I still do have things to utilize. I grab that. That. And then I get back here. So that they are out of the way for whatever shenanigans I want to pull here. Grab a 
cognition from this, just so we have it complete. And, ah, of course. I'm just barely shy on that accord. Fine, we'll use the cognition to just get this one out of the way. Because I am effectively just retreating back, but I'm wrecking what havoc I can in the meantime. Like this. Zap. continue our very murderous retreat. <laughs> our very, very, very murderous retreat. That Necron Immortal is getting a turn. Yeah, like that. It runs. It burns. Uh, well, since we don't have much to lose by doing this. Fine, fine, fine. No survivors. <laughs> Can't be having that now when we're this close to having just murdered them all. Poke. Poke. You are dead now. And now we flee. We flee with all this blood on our hands. Necron blood, of course. Mission complete. The cohort locates the chamber with the scale model of the tomb complex. It is too large and elaborate to be transported out of the tomb. 
so they take so they take a thorough picked record of its every detail. Neftuk's reasons for building it remain obscure, but the Adeptus Mechanicus now possess a valuable guide to the full extent of the tombs on Silva and Tenebris. Perfect. We should be grateful that Neftusk had uh, such a high opinion of his own skills. The Grand Architect's scale model has given us intelligence about the extent of the tomb complex that would otherwise have cost us good lives to acquire. I return some satisfaction from the fact that the arrogance of the Necron may be the means by which it is defeated. More teachings of the Omnicide? More observation from experience. The enemy does not give much, so what he does give must be grabbed without hesitation. Only one awakening from that. That is good. Oh, I forgot to use that last canticle to just heal them up, but yeah, oh well. It's fine. We have destroyed all of the immortals. There are so many immortals on that one. Mission success. Got our rewards. Got our Blackstone. Only one awakening and <laughs> look what we end up on, coincidentally enough. We're ending on good old nice 69% awakening. Mouse clicks, 669. Go figure. Distance traveled, 652. Rooms explored, 6. Turns played, 8. 77 attacks, 568 damage dealt, 7 damage taken, 0 units lost. Battle time, 44 minutes, 0 seconds, 10 milliseconds. Oh wow, that was really close to being on the dime of 44 minutes. Oof. Let's see here. Your next one increases the Castellian robots. So are the inscribed stealth. Sodomus Kepra has requested the destruction and inscribed stella in the Tomb of Melob that depicts some past victories of the Necrons. We'll get the stella and demolish it. So we have one mission here for a heavy grav cannon and some blackstone. A mission here for some blackstone and a castellan up robot upgrade. Have one here for Find a Lost Castellan Robot. It's just Blackstone for various stuff. Has, blah, blah, and all of those. Uh. Yeah, when next we. When next we do things, yeah, we'll very much. I think we'll work on theirs because. Because if our, if this pops in the rest of our Neftus, then we might have a full, we might end up with a full selection of, the well, boss fights to go through and select out, which would be interesting. But for now, we have a fair bit to upgrade with. Three, 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 one, three. So our Ranger Alphas, and obviously these two are the only ones that have been upgraded into three. Which seem to be, yeah, the max. There's... huh. There's two question marks still. Interesting. Okay then. Noted. 21, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 21. Okay. So, that's one of our 20s. They're one of our 20s. You're also a 20. 20 that I can upgrade. Let we upgrade your things on, rather, though? That's a fair question. So yeah, we'll do a little bit more, more of this avenue. Take that on, take that on. You're 40. You are that. 
that at the moment. Upgrade steals. Nah, that doesn't do me much good. Guess maybe that one could do for some more. Also have its servo skull deal damage as well, which isn't a bad thing either. we can upgrade one of their scanners to the big old one. And wow, that is a beefy scanner. <laughs> that is a very beefy scanner. Look at that thing. Man, chucking another one of those bi these big scanners on the other side is just gonna <laughs> be so crammed full of scanners. That is actually gonna be hilarious. Uh, and that is all I can do for the moment. But also, with that, it is past two in the morning for me. But, we made some good progress. We are, we are chucking our way through missions. We even don't have any more missions uh, from Skivola anymore. We've plugged through their thing so much. We've gotten our folks very, very well upgraded and very well equipped. We are absolutely wrecking it, wrecking house with some really, really fun weapons. And next time, we will continue to unlock more weapons. We'll, un we'll get more things upgradable. Hopefully we might find our other tech priests, but... Hey, we'll just continue working our way through things. Keep our keep our two management as well as we can, our awakening level. And well, hit up some bosses where we can, because we might be reaching a point where we should be tackling some bosses. I've been kind of hoping to find our sixth tech priest, so I am hoping we can find that. I'll see what I can do to try to see where that unlocks. I think it might be from it might be from continuing her her missions, but it might be someone else's. No firm no firm way to say at the moment. But thank you all for sticking around and thank you all for the folks who have just been been lurking and just Keeping, keeping things up and going for me. I appreciate it. Even if you're not actively watching or anything, I appreciate uh, y'all just being here on the stream, contributing to the views, and contributing to my self-confidence. <laughs> Whatever it be, thank you all so much. My next stream, I've reorganized... I've, I've reorganized my... Uh, my days a little bit so so now for now for coming up next Saturday we will be I will be starting a new game which is also new for new for me in terms of playing it's going to be it, it is going to be doom 2016 I've never played it never played a doom game in fact yeah I know sacrilege but I haven't and this coming Saturday, we will be get, we will be get doing it, doing it, that. For the rest of my schedule as it's set up now, Sunday is Sunday remain is gonna remain being Sunless Sea. Tuesday is when I'm going to be uh, continuing to plug away on Chrono Cross. Kind of felt that switching around those days would be a better fit for each and every one of them. So. That is how it will go. And obviously then then a week from now, next Thursday, it'll continue to be more of this. Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. So whether I see y'all next stream on Saturday or whether I see you in one of the one of one of the other future streams. Whatever the case may be. I hope y'all have a good evening, slash morning, slash whatever your time zone is at the moment. <laughs> 
I hope y'all have a good, good rest of the week. Almost the weekend. I hope that goes well for everybody. And, well, I just hope all, hope that whenever I next see you, that all shall be well and all will be, will continue to be well. Thank you all so much once again. I appreciate it. And I shall see you, see y'all next time. Cheers.